the crowd world sings to me and I respond in kind. We will fulfill our duty. is successful. Hi guys. I will observe. Zorg versus uh, Maniac in the first game on Blood River. Chaos versus Eldar. Good control of the map so far from uh, Blasphemer here. Zorg produced a squad of Dark Reapers and Rangers. Whoa! Why double aspect portal? Very interesting stuff here from Zorg. He actually went for double aspect portal in order to get Rangers uh, faster. Rangers and Dark Reapers simultaneously. Hello Yoshi and hi Durian, welcome. Very interesting start there from Elda, one of the first time I see it. Chaos, so on the other hand, manages to build a tower on the Elda side. Zork probably does not have a Wraith Tomb to get in there and take the turret down. He manages to take three points from his sides and the relic now being captured. Maniac took all of his points, builds the LP1s and one point from the Elder side. Very good start, I would say. I think he should uh, add support from Raptors on this map. Raptors could help with uh, tying up the Dark Reaper units and some harass. Especially good when uh, they get the aspiring champions and uh, the swords upgraded. And they can get them in tier 1. Eldar on 56 to 10 income, only one generator at the moment, adds a second squad of Dark Reapers. And Wraith Tomb. I am not sure, did Zorg see the turret here? Maniac decides to build one more. I am not sure if it's worth be building one more turret here, Pro probably on this side will be better, because uh, Zorg could focus on taking this point from Chaos instead of this one, which is already fortified. High Blast. Rangers, as many of you know, can outrange uh, turrets and they have decent damage to your buildings. There goes the Wraith Tomb, LP2 will shoot no more. I guess it did not pay off, Maniac started upgrading it too late. Time to tie up those Dark Reapers, impossible to save the LP2 however, because both heretics in here got killed. We 
Good pressure from Zorg so far. Chaos, however, feels perfect. I think he can win this. Raptor support has been added, Chaos Lord below half HP. In Chaos uh, place I would have no clue what to do right now, it feels like he's losing badly. Maybe one more squad of Raptors, but it's very expensive. Maniac decides to go tier 2, if he can survive with proper economy, until he gets a Defiler will be heaven. Hi guys. Welcome to the stream again. Better map control for Chaos so far holds one more point compared to Elda, but not for long. Zorg will manage to take this point. Turret getting uh, blocked here by Wraith Tomb. Deals no damage. Rangers damaging the tower here. They can outrange it again. Only four of them. If the squad moves a bit closer, they will get in turret range, I believe. Maniac decides to engage. He doesn't want to lose this turret. It could help a lot later versus Falcon Harass if it gets upgraded. This Elder build is not too bad. I mean double aspect portal because you only pay 100 requisition for a portal. However, I am not sure if it's worth it. Just to get the rangers out faster. Oh boy, and here we go. Zorg uh, jumps over the wall, finds uh, the machine pit. <laughs> jumps immediately in the right position. I'm not sure if he scouted the area before. Jumps into that machine pit and blocks the production. And here comes the second one. The machine pit delay for about 50 seconds, I believe on production and he can uh, keep bringing these uh, s servitors, uh, bone singers I mean. Farseer on the way, tier 2 almost up for Zork, his economy is not so good compared to Chaos. And he is winning the fights, he has got very powerful infantry. Optics on the way. Lord very low on HP, no units to tank the damage now. Finally a Falcon gets out and it should destroy this webway gate. No anti-vehicle yet from Eldar. Chaos should be able to hold it, he needs to order a defiler. He had enough. Okay, he, he goes for the vehicle cap increase, no more. A vehicle limit for uh, the defiler, unfortunately. We are taking damage. Dragons out. They can get inside a webway gate, but there's none at home for Zorg, so they have to go by land. They could unload here. Difficult spot here for a uh, maniac. Can he survive this pressure? He will need about two defilers, I believe. 
shouldn't have lost uh, the Talon. Another stun on the machine pit. This is actually painful, even for yeah, for all the faction, I guess. If if the elder abuses this, <coughs> apologies. I think the game um, becomes really unfair. Non-stop uh, stun on the machine pit, impossible to do anything here. Chaos production is uh, banned today. Get pressured now also by support platforms with upgrades. Sorcerer without morale, but he somehow managed to take down that uh, platform. Early Queen here deals easily with the Lord and his squad of Marines. The pressure on the Chaos base is unstoppable. I don't know Yoshi. If I will be playing, I don't know yet. There are much better players out there who can show a much better game than me. So I would rather observe, of course. My hands don't really listen to me. Right now, what a mess here. Chaos was in such a good position early game, and yet Elder still manages to win this. I think Wraith Tomb played a big role in that. This ability feels almost like a cheat, I will be honest with you. Makes the game very unfair. GG. I can feel the pain. There's a delay on the stream about 80 seconds, up to 90 seconds. It's always uh, random. I have delay when I observe or play 1v1 games to avoid stream sniping. So if I do not uh, reply immediately to your uh, questions or comments, it's because I'm either busy casting or uh, there's the stream delay. Indeed, Peter, huge race diff. Chaos only has chances if, uh, I guess, if he somehow manages to 
hit tier 3 before Elder does with a very good economy. That's true, Firefox. I think, honestly, I'll be honest, Zorg has potential to win uh, anyone without Raid Tomb, without using it. I guess he wants an easier game, or just wants to chill. I don't know. He really doesn't have to use that in order to win games. Usually Aaron listens to me when I ask him to play. Let's see if this trick will work at this time. Guys, Blasphemer needs an opponent, if anyone's in chat. Anyone in chat who can play 1v1s and wants to play, you're very much welcome here in this one versus Blasphemer. I could not um, beat a Blasphemer's Chaos even when I played actively. He's been playing a lot more games uh, than me lately, so I have no chances. It would be a one-sided game if I try. It's not worth. Maybe Blast wants to play.
You're right, Yoshi. The thing is, I don't really want to get good again. Not interested, at least. Because I won't be able to keep it up. Dantist joins and will play Orcs. His main is also Chaos. I guess he does not want to play Mirror. Dantist on the left hand side here on Quest Triumph and Blasphemer on the right. If there will be a proper opponent, maybe I will play. I mean suitable for my current level, I mean. We'll see. For now I am fine with observing. Thankfully we've got the players. Raptors versus works. I think this can work if uh, the orc player is not very experienced. Honestly, I'm not really sure what Chaos has to do in this matchup. The only build I know and will do is probably Chaos Marine Mass in tier 1 and if it fails gg if it works very good making three squads of chaos marines chaos lord and go into the works territory try to take his points if he's not expecting such aggression it could be difficult I wouldn't uh, be able to play Raptors versus Works. They die too fast, I see. A lot, lots of them died in here. At least four Raptors have been killed around this point, and it's on the Chaos side. Feels like Chaos Marines would have been more cost effective. Seventy four to twenty economy here, it's not 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 so bad. Mostly LP ones, one point still missing here on the far uh, left for chaos. And work What is the work doing? Well his economy is uh, only a bit worse compared to Chaos. He couldn't take the relic and this point. I guess um, Raptor Haras did the job. 
It might have been worth it. If the Chaos player knows his objectives, how he has to use the Raptors, the points in here have been controlled by the Raptor Haras, work school not take uh, them. Then it is trying to take this one instead, and even brings the Gretchens, it, it won't work, point goes uh, decap. Lord full HP, it's a nightmare for the mech, the mech cannot get in range there. It gets mashed. Now that's a terrible banner build up here by Dantist. His biggest mistake so far. He should uh, waste. The work players must waste 10 15 seconds, send the Gretchens back in the base and build the war banner there. And if you build them in the open map, make sure you defend them with minefields, upgrade them ASAP. Or you can lose them easily when the chaos pushes hard. Lord here, he has no chance versus a mech uh, together with the shooter boys. He gets support, however. This is winnable for chaos with the chaos marines. Should attach a lord to the squad. Oh, he almost got killed, got stuck in there. Chaos Marines arrived too late. Work finally manages to take his uh, point on the far right. And same from Chaos here. Chaos got the map faster, however. Very good economy. Armory up, frag grenades incoming. I think he needs one more squad of marines as well. If you make the frag grenades, you probably have to invest in one more squad of marines. Having two frag grenades can help. And as a priority, of course, Chaos should aim for a um, relatively fast tier 2 from now on, because Orc is getting more and more DPS. That means uh, Chaos uh, units can die really quick in a bad fight. From the big shooters especially, so focusing uh, for a quicker tier 2 somehow prioritize it somehow in order to get the HP upgrade, the aspiring champion HP upgrade, very important. It makes uh, Chaos uh, infantry a lot stronger when they have an uh, aspiring champion on the squad. Squads become more tough to beat, now he's got enough uh, resources and he's going tier 2, very nice. 98 to 10 here on uh, Dantist makes the blast here will be a nightmare for those uh, Chaos Marines. Storm Boys also are here. It feels like Dantist made uh, the Storm Boys a little bit too late. Work has to start harassing in this matchup ASAP with Storm Boys. And not just in this matchup, but in most of the matchups, Storm Boy harass is very good. The heavy bolters are here, and they have been added to the squads during the tier 2 transition. You are not allowed to do that earlier simply because it will drain all your economy, all your resources. You pay 40 requisition and 10 power for one bolter. And if you're not careful enough, you can lose it really easily if uh, that model dies. You see the bolter has been added to the marine with the lowest HP. And in this fight it got focused and killed by the storm boy. Expensive model. 
It costs 90 requisition and 10 power. When you sum all of that up, when your marine starts dying, it's a really huge, a huge chunk of uh, resources that you lose. Okay, the tier 2 is here, and the HP upgrade as a priority being upgraded here by a Maniac, he knows what he's doing. Feels like the Raptor's gonna die here, they do not have the HP upgrade yet, aspiring uh, very low. He could die, a, a shoot-up boy will kill it. Oh, he, fat he did a fatality. And another one, two fatalities in a row. It feels like this uh, assault, mar assault uh, aspiring champion will get saved eventually. No, he dies. But he paid off anyway. In the meantime, here a slaughter uh, happened. Work lost the fight. Big Mac died. Choppy research up for uh, works. Dentist probably should make the global upgrade on requisition now. He's floating 300 power, he needs it. He's got a bigger problem though than uh, economy and that's simply not sufficient uh, infantry to fight what uh, Chaos uh, got at the moment. He makes the global, very nice. Needs some tanky units. He needs to make the mech again. And yes, he also needs the mech shop. Dantist uh, decides to send Storm Boys on Harass. He's focusing the HQ for some time. He knows he cannot stop Chaos now and says GG. At this point, Chaos is very uh, strong in the game when they've got the HP upgrades, the machine pit is up, Rhino incoming. Yeah, he said DJ at the right time, no need to overextend. Work strength in this matchup is early game. If they do not do sufficient damage early, I don't know if they can win at all. I do not see a 1v1 up with observers, Alex said he might uh, play in 20 minutes. If you do, I would observe it and hope you can find an opponent. Blasphemer might have gone for a break, 
Maybe he's out on, uh, for a smoke. We'll wait a bit. I would have played a free for all game, but there are so many unlegit players in there. I lost uh, appetite for that game mode. Hi, Jack. Yes, Vespids are very strong in Dark Crusade. Probably better than in Soulstorm. Because you can get them for cheaper. And that allows you to also get the Tau Commander and even one more squad of infantry. You, you must learn how to use the Vespids, however. If your opponent is experienced, he will try to deny you any damage. You can you you have to use the jumps wisely and try to go in there where your opponent does not have anything to defend or to fight your Vespids with. And usually with the Vespids at the very beginning you start to take down a generator if uh, your opponent builds it. Okay, Alex uh, will play in 10 minutes. I guess I can wait. If there won't be any uh, one hosting, I will be waiting. For Alex, I do not want to miss his game. familiar name here man in bro hosted I will observe until Alex makes a game says he's not as good as most players on my stream but no way he knows that yes there are very experienced players uh, usually watching my stream like blast shagafts and many others but i think he's got a uh, sufficient he's good enough to show a good game
I am not sure if my streams have an effect uh, on the community growth. Most likely not, there are a lot more popular streamers out there who get um, a lot more views compared to me, so I guess their impact is much bigger than mine. And uh, another thing is, many people um, play mods. In the lobby you tend to get a lot of password protected games. That's the guys who went to actually play LAN mode, but since it's out of the game, they have to host it online with password. I will also check what's uh, the Steam online at the moment. One thousand and four hundred forty-three players. Almost 1500 uh, players online. That's, I guess, uh, three times as much compared to Dawn of War 2 Retribution. But uh, about half of them are playing probably mods and campaign. Game get started. Unknown Necron player versus Manion Bro. I remember now uh, the player which I confused Manion Bro with. Nuffer. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. He was a very good Tau player. Necron in the top side of the map. Good generator positioning. It's lovely. I like this positioning more because it's... You see, there's space in between generators and the monolith. That's what I mean. Your units, uh, your destroyers or tomb spiders will not get stuck. Very often they do when you build generator uh, at uh, the closest limit uh, to the monolith. On the lower position, Manning Bro playing Sisters of Battle makes a squad of Seraphims. Also through generator, I know this build. It can be very good if Necron will not push hard. Okay, he also builds a turret in uh, a good position. I approve. Seraphims are here, they jumping in the Necron's base. They saw the turret get some damage and will go in there for a, for a decap, nice one. Necron only needs to make ne uh, Necron warriors now, no need for the Lord. Aaron Beast, it's game versus sisters, not uh, Tau. 
Manion Bro plays sisters this time. If you build generators on this side and take this point quick, yes, you can defend them versus Vespids much better. No such thing here, however, it's Seraphims and it can also be a pain in tier 2. Well, by the time uh, tier 2 comes up on Sisters, Necrons uh, will be defending on, on this side as well, so he still has time to get this point, upgrade it. He also builds a turret on this side. He should be fine. Okay, he went for the Lord after the second squad of warriors. Economy is not high enough, however, on uh, Necrons. It's gonna get really good soon for uh, Sisters. 74 to 20 already. Okay, the LP2 is a big mistake. He should have prioritized faster tier 2 instead of LP2. Maybe you can upgrade one LP2 during the tier 2 transition. And you can go tier 2 with this build on just one generator. You can build the second one later. And it's so important because uh, Krug grenades, of course. You upgrade Krug grenades and you, you go on harass while Necron is still tier 1. You can take down the turrets really easily. If you've got a nice timing. Economy, of course, is good, but the timing is more important in this matchup for sisters. If they hit tier 2 late but have very good economy, it's gonna be more difficult anyway. They have to harass Necron as early as possible. Maybe, uh, Yoshi, maybe I uh, have an effect on the players who play 1v1s specifically. More competitive games, but it's a small part of the community. The bigger part of the community plays team games, they play Alvarus 24-7. There are very few 1v1 players, even if my videos get 1000 views, I wish there were 1000 1v1 players. Fortunately we only get like 10, 15. Hi Shaq, go play please. I would really like to observe uh, Shagav versus Alex. Okay, Inferno Pistol is here. Now this is a mistake that um, Manion Bro does here. He should be close to the Necron's base with this squad of Seraphims harassing here. Necron took this side of the map easily, it was undefended. Seraphims should have been in this area denying Necron taking these points. And if he goes towards the Necron's base, he will force him back with the warriors. Alex will host after this game, I will uh, observe him. If someone wants to play Alex, you're welcome. Necron hits tier 2, goes for plus 8 income. Archive is up. A lord very low on HP, no artifacts yet. Necron is gonna lose the warriors if he does not go back. He was forced to retreat. What sister's mistake? It feels like he's, uh, he feels great, economy very good, but he di did not attack Necron's base yet. And he hit tier 2 like 3 minutes ago or what. He should have been on this side, uh, pushing these two points, taking them from the Necron, and then take down those turrets on the high ground. And then you can harass all around the Necron's base freely. Nice focus on the Lord, he's got no phylactery, painful loss here. 
he invest in invested so much in that lord a lord with the archive alone 300 power almost the cost of tier 2 guys he only got uh, solar pills apparently that's another 125 power so he invests 425 power in the Necron Lord. Imagine if he invested these resources in uh, the big core and second upgrade for the warriors. It could have been up by now. And this fight could, could be so much easier for the Necron. A Lord definitely a mistake so early. You also do not make him uh, versus Dark Elder. Simply not worth it. He may be good only if Necron wants to do some kind of full tier 1.5 uh, push. It did not happen in this game. So don't even bother then. No, it's over. Necron can't uh, get out of this situation. It's too bad. Sisters floating, 1k almost. It's gonna be an easy win here. Three minutes until taken all victory. You can't ever go wrong if you make more and more Celestians, they are viable even in tier 4. They are very resilient, they've got uh, damage versus both infantry and vehicles. And they've got the Krug grenades, in tier 4 they can't, can uh, take down the elite unit quick with their Krugs grenades. They can fly, fight in close combat also. You just need the double sword upgrade for uh, the veteran. Smite here cast on the fleet one, squad's gonna go down. A lord still without the phylactery, are you kidding me? Very vulnerable lord. All this time Necron with only plus 80 income, it's the 10th minute. It would have been okay if he had a huge mass of infantry, but he's got nothing. If you have nothing, your economy should be plus 150 by now. You either invest in economy boom, huge one, or huge infantry. Select one. Tier 3 almost up for sisters. At this point he can just send the, the, the battle sisters to fight in close combat if he gets blinded by uh, solar pulse. The, they are very good in close combat, even versus the buildings. Tier 3 up, get uh, tier 4 now. Enough resources. Very late destroyer, it's okay if you make it when uh, sister is only hitting tier 2. Double turret definitely was too much. It wasn't necessary. GG Necron quits Manion Bro knew what he has to do He only needs to improve the part When, when it must be done If he would have done it a bit faster It could be perfect almost he did the right things, but a bit too slow. 
And he floated a lot. Alex hosted the game. You guys are welcome to play if you're up for Solar Pulse is not even worth versus sisters. To be honest, you need a lightning field. Because uh, veterans on sisters have very, very high damage in close combat when they got double upgrade. And you also have Celestians, very powerful in close combat. You cannot even win a squad of Celestians with a Lord if you don't have the lightning field. The only chance for the Lord is when he makes fatalities, he survives for a bit longer, but he's very vulnerable. If you don't wanna make the lightning field, I guess you should skip the Lord. It's not worth. Or maybe you could send him on harassing enemy base. But then Seraphims can catch up with him. Check, stop trolling and go play. Chronometron is also good, you can catch uh, a bunch of sisters, well unless they are Seraphims of course. If you see a ton of Celestians and Battle Sisters, Chronometron can be a good option, but you will need um, many Necron Warriors, upgraded flayed ones, in order to do the damage, the DPS. Got bugged. Okay, Tau will... Uh, Alex will go... <laughs> Alex will go Tau and Eren Imperial Guard. What a nightmarish matchup for Battle Marshes. Imperial Guard probably has no chance. Only Turret Rush probably can save them.
Eren at the top side with Imperial Guard versus Alex in the lower position as Tau. Three stealth suits. Wow, Alex must be very experienced. He dares to play a three stealth suit build. It's quite demanding, I'd say. He probably practiced this. Okay. Fire Warriors, Tau Commander. Alex should know perfectly war what works well uh, versus Imperial Guard. So I'm sure he will do something uh, efficient for this matchup. But uh, we shouldn't underestimate Eren Beast. He played a ton of games uh, with Imperial Guard. He knows all the matchups well. Thank you for your opinion, Shagav. It's appreciated. Wow, nice one! Yeren knew a uh, stealth suit would be here. He prepared the commissar and the guardsmen. And no decap for Alex. He lost the stealth suit without decapping the point. Now you get why I mentioned the three stealth suit opening. Well, he's doing well so far, he only needs to get uh, both relics now. If he lost one stealth suit, focus on that map control now, no need to harass. And maybe go build this. No, it's too late. Here goes uh, Eren's pressure now in Tau. Alex has no generator, thankfully. He can afford another squad of fire warriors. Would have been a nightmare if he started with a generator. You probably cannot stop Imperial Guard all in if you build a generator. It's a big mistake if you do. No power for Tau, only 20 left. Does not have enough for uh, Vespids. I wonder wh where did he waste all of the power? Strip Soul killing the Tau commander. Very painful stuff here. General still alive. Kill the squad of a uh, builder. Tech Priest almost here, ready to start building turrets. Three squads of fire warriors. Alex doesn't even have enough for a second uh, tower commander. First one got killed. And there goes the turret all in. Well, it's expected in this matchup. You should prepare for this. Because if Imperial Guard doesn't do this, they can't win. Simple. And Eren knows that. Decides to go for the only build that works. GG. That was fast. Maniac has game up. Let's see if Alex wants to play him. I will ask.
Chaos vs Imperial Garden Shrine of Exalien. Blasphemer vs Alex. That will be a standard build here. Through Chaos Temple. Blasphemer will go for the series build. Well, I hope you can win with this. My problem with this build is how do you stop the command squad harass when your cultists and uh, heretics? Is it even possible? With nades you can at least slow them down a bit. I mean the command squad. You can disrupt them a bit can keep your heretics alive somehow. Okay, the turret could help in case Alex goes for this side. I have huge lags in this game as you guys can see. Previous game was perfectly stable, this one I have micro freezes every 3 seconds. general here, Alex does not see the turret, stays for 10 seconds, absorbs, uh, loses a third of HP on the general. Good luck stopping Raptor Harass. Looks good. Aggressive turret here from Alex. It could deny two points from Chaos. My is fire. Chaos Lord about to get out only now, and this is what I was saying. The harass from command squad and uh, a commissar killing tons of cultists here, a squad uh, will get killed. Even the second one could die. Raptors far away somewhere. Blasphemer has to somehow uh, stop this turret from ha happening. Two squads of cult is dead. Painful, painful. Alex knows the weaknesses of chaos, knows where to push. Strip soul absorbed by the chaos lord, half HP down already. What damaged him so hard? This squad of guardsmen alone, apparently. And the strip soul and now he's on a third of HP. Hard times here for a chaos. Okay, feels like Imperial Guard aggression uh, gets stopped slowly. No generator, however, for Chaos all this time. And it's been like 5 minutes already. Alex with generator up. He needs that power to reinforce uh, the command squad at times. Ring. 
Whoa, whoa, Alex brought a tech priest here to finish the turret. And he does. Is it worth though? Uh, Raptor killing that tech priest, Lord tanking into it. It will melt here very fast, but it could kill the Lord potentially. Lord uh, focused by that turret retreats. Yeah, he survives, but one strip soul will kill him in the next fight. Billy asks if all high skill 1v1 involve rushing. Well, most of the time your opponent wouldn't want to let you just chill and tech in 1v1 games. So he will try to scout at least, see what you're doing, and if you're uh, not having decent amount of infantry to defend yourself, he will try to exterminate you and punish you for what you do. You must know the builds and how the meta works. You can try to play defensively, it's, there are defensive builds, but you must know and feel the game very well. You must know where to build your defenses, or when to build them, how to react to all units. You must be experienced. Counter-attack attempt here from Chaos. Well, I don't see how Chaos uh, can win with uh, this standard build. He's got a very good economy. Two LP2s here on this side. But how do you kill the Guardsmen? How do you kill them? With these squishy Marines. If you play Nate Cut, you could be tier 2 by now, I guess. And maybe get the sorcerer and uh, a tier 3 transition. Alex goes tier 2. We can serve you. <laughs> Maniac knows he's behind in tech. He is not tier 2 yet. But he's going for it. I think uh, if you want to play uh, Chaos Temple, maybe you should try Chaos Marine Mass instead of Raptors. Trying to all in on one side the Imperial Guard. We're here for the dark We're here for the and try to kill the General ASAP. Do the damage ASAP. Chaos also transitioning to tier 2, makes a new Lord. The turret is still up. Maybe this turret here was also a mistake. I don't know. Uh, this standard build versus Imperial Guard. Another turret here. As soon as he, uh, oh, he's already tier two. He can upgrade both of them and take uh, these LP2s from Chaos down. Quick. And bring the priests. Sorcerer incoming from uh, Maniac. Alex economy is better, however. It's about the same, in fact. But it will be better once these LP2s will go down, and they will. They will go down very soon. I can see it happening. Let me 
optics from Alex. Good stuff. Okay, the sorcerer is out at the right time. Lord goes in. Sorcerer goes in. Good timing attack here from Chaos. Saved this LP LP2. Okay. Well, at least one LP2 got destroyed. Turrets weren't a full waste. I uh, did not uh, see this aggression incoming so quick from uh, Maniac. He attacks at the very last moment to save uh, his points. Well done. Three heretics at once can repay her an LP2. I did not know this. Whoa, map hack ability used here. Alex can see beyond uh, the fog of war. Nice ability, Imperial Guard. Well, what can I say? No chances for Chaos Infantry to defeat this in, uh, Imperial Guard. Guardsmen don't even have the armor yet. They are getting the morale upgrades. Alex not controlling everything properly. Getting in and out of those LP2s. And he does not have the weapon specialization yet. The second uh, up damage upgrade. Oh, he's got it, my bad, I didn't notice. So his DPS is insane right now. Defiler will certainly help. Maniac's problem is low economy. This is super low economy for uh, Shrine of Excel and it should have been above 130 with all these LP2s up. But I can see how difficult it can be for Chaos to keep it up with uh, both economy and infantry. Not with this build. Last cannon here from Alex prepared to deal with the Defiler. Good one. Maniac focuses it with the Sorcerer and Raptors. Good focus. And there's no mechanized command yet from Alex. It means he can't make Chimera or Sentinel. He has to stun this Defiler and try to destroy it. It makes the Guardsman life a nightmare. Stun was not used yet. There's another Psyker out. Okay, there we go. The casting range is obviously broken. Rhino incoming, but uh, Maniac is left almost without infantry. Three fully upgraded squads of guardsmen. The damage is unbelievably high from this. And they've got five nades on each squad. This one's still getting reinforced. Why no decap? Nice stun, very, very well cast here. Alex is being so greedy in this fight. He should have kept uh, the distance before going in like that. He uh, 
he's still on higher economy. Sorcerer going down. Gets killed by the heavy weapon team. Turret destroyed. A lord goes down. All this time, uh, Imperial Guard does not have specialized anti-vehicle. Can support a Dreadnought, or a Defider, I mean. Thanks to the Psykers. So many stuns on those Defilers. Chaos Economy improved, I think he's got the Global. But again, Chaos Infantry is too squishy. To fight uh, upgraded guardsmen. I have no idea how Chaos can stop this. It's probably not possible if Chaos plays through Chaos Temple. You need to abuse Nate Cult very well, you have to be very good at it. Very fast Defiler Mass or very fast Tier 3 could work. And Imperial Guard can beat that of course as well, but at least it's not as easy as fighting versus Chaos Temple K uh, build. Another Machine Pit, well... Uh, Chaos is left on uh, 4 points. And Alex goes tier 3. The chimeras are here. That's only 1 H cube psyker. Imagine if there were like 2 or 3 psychers. They outrange the defilers with their, with their stun. Good game and well played. Well, I can see Maniac is trying to play a uh, Maniard game and build. And uh, Imperial Guard does not uh, forgive that. Jim, who is being too aggressive? What do you mean? Good point, Yoshi. Zero damage has been done to Imperial Guard economy. Probably impossible to win if you don't uh, take down their economy a bit. Okay, random versus random. It 
could be fun. Hope there won't be a mirror. Necron versus works. Okay. Alex says his works suck. I think it's the first time I actually see Alex playing works. This is a bit funny. Let's see what he will do. Oh, he's got a color scheme on works apparently, even from random. He's got his um, original uh, banner and badge. Good one. And. Uh, Necrons for Blasphemer, it used to be his main race. He switched to Chaos later. He also played a lot on, of Space Marines and Sisters of Battle. But I'd say he's experienced with all the factions. He can show a good game with all the races. Blink, who, what is your nickname uh, in the game? Could you please uh, tell me? And uh, how many hours of 1v1s do you have in Soul Storm? How much did you play it? Because uh, sometimes the players refuse to play if uh, the opponent is not experienced enough, so... I'm not sure if they will play you, we'll see. Necron Warrior Squad getting reinforced, going towards the Orcs base. This point gets upgraded fast. Another one here. The Lord is almost out. The LP2, if this one gets prioritized, it, it won't pay off. Might be a good idea to cancel it. No cancel. Well, maybe it will kill one or two Necron Warriors, but the Lord will certainly finish it off. And maybe even decap it. This is the face of the Gretchen that uh, uses the weapon right now. Oh, uh, the big mech with the boys will save uh, the LP2, rip. Nice try from Blasphemer, but it will not work. He lost uh, quite a bit of power trying to do the damage here. Could even lose the squad on a retreat. Lord uh, is busy now with the shooter boys, a big mech with the other boys roam free around the map. Floating from Alex, well I'm not surprised, he's probably playing works for the third time, places two war banners at once. Wow, focusing range on the squad of Necron Warriors, I almost missed. Many occlusive squad. Very, very painful. Because they get produced so slow. The Necron Warriors. And the Monolith is idle. What will this be? Some kind of fast tier 2 from uh, Necrons? No, flayed ones are added. For a moment I thought Maniac might try fast uh, destroyers. I know he uh, used to love that build. And it's good when you can surprise your opponent when he doesn't see it coming, it's a bit broken. It will devastate the orc if uh, Alex won't be prepared. 
tier 3 destroyers of Wraith and GG. Without mech shop it's impossible to stop. Alex uh, trying to keep it up with his economy and resources, no uh, more floats, armor gets upgraded. Storm boys incoming. No damage to Necron's economy yet. Maniac uh, decides to build two more generators, goes for plus 90. And four squads of Necron warriors in queue. This is actually standard. And tier 2 on the way. Only two squads of Necron Warriors, however. Plus 90 economy is close to standard. It's, it's not my style. My style is when I go uh, 10 generators, all global upgrades, 2 monoliths. It's uh, different. A turret also gets placed. It will be uh, very helpful if Adex will decide to harass uh, into these generators. Having LP2 and tower is almost mandatory in this matchup. You never know when the storm boys will jump in your base and start uh, taking down your economy. You must prepare for that. Alex jumps in on the relic. Turret cannot uh, reach in there. Actually, Work is doing a good job. If he can decap the relic at this point, Necron will be left with only two obelisks. Turret here is already upgraded. Economy plus 90. A second turret gets built. Interesting maniac uh, expects uh, heavy aggression from uh, storm boys. Alex, in the meantime, hitting tier two and build the mech shop. Well, if you build it, I hope he will make uh, the war tracks. They help a lot uh, against the destroyers or Tomb Spiders. So War Tracks a must uh, build if you go make shop. If you don't want to make uh, War Tracks, don't even build it. Choppy is also researched for Alex. Another LP2 up needs to build more generators. Cheetah boy is now uh, busy getting the critical locations. Word truck from Alex. He doesn't really need DPS in this game against infantry. Word tracks would have been better, I think. Both uh, infantry disruption, anti destroyer, anti turret. Very good to engage with storm boys and uh, have also some support from word tracks at taking down turrets faster. Look at that. Again, it looks like the relic is gonna get decapped. And Necron is left on two points. The destroyers are out. 
And that's why I emphasized Alex needs those war tracks. He has no uh, anti-vehicle now on the battlefield. Storm boy is gonna get killed here, but they will decap. Okay, he manages to save the squad. He keeps producing these war trucks. They they are quite useless in this game, and they are also idling. Mistake with the uh, vehicles here from Alex. If you build war trucks, uh, make uh, three squads of tank busters then, or at least two. Okay, the second one is coming. Two destroyers here, uh, one destroyer manages to kill the mech, they target uh, the commanders in the first place. It's uh, unit specific stuff, they tend to target uh, squad leaders or commanders, they prioritize them. And they have very high DPS to commander armor. Alex should uh, get his turn boys out of here, he's losing too many and they're also losing the fight. They cannot support uh, the destroyer damage. Well, the only thing Alex has to do now is to hold uh, ground. If he can hold these two points, it's over for Necron. His economy is very good, he's got uh, 6 generators, he's building 2 more banners and can go tier 3. And he needs uh, infiltration for the tank busters also. Two flayed one squads inside the monolith for uh, Maniac makes two wraiths because they counter the tank busters. Nice uh, focus on immortals by getting slaughtered. Squad almost got killed. Flayed once uh, forces the war truck to change focus. And that's how the immortal squad will survive here. Minor detail that uh, will play a big role maybe later. The immortal squad will get reinforced. And deal damage to war trucks or war tracks if any will get out. Feels like uh, Alex disrespects war tracks for some reasons unknown. Over 1000 float. The float is insane. Ghost tier 3 now. Yeah, I know. I know he gathered resources for this. With a war truck, <clears throat> you have to hunt the destroyers. You can do that. Target uh, scarabs with a war truck and destroyers with the tank busters. Some damage in here to work economy by uh, Necrons. Blasphemer goes for the global upgrade, he knows work's economy is insane, he has to keep up with it. Tier 3 halfway done. A useless squad of shooter boys, it's not needed. Should have saved for the flash gates instead. War tier 3 knobs. Or one more squads of tank busters. More tank busters never hurt. Because they can disrupt the Necron Lord, make him useless in fights. Good focus here, Gretchen's down. This LP will get cancelled. Alex uh, does not uh, delete this yet. Alex somehow misclicked. 
and uh, delayed his tier 3 by about uh, 9 seconds I guess Not a big deal, I guess it will make the matchup a bit more fair, he still can win. The only bad thing is that his economy dropped. He should upgrade this point. He should build minefields on this side. And the world tracks are still missing all this time. Tank busters are uh, getting tied up by wraiths, very painful. Alex had such a good economy to just make three war tracks and deal with the destroyers rather than investing in the tank busters. They are more expensive even and a lot less effective, especially if you struggle with micro. Tougher bosses research, good upgrade for the knob leaders, for the mega armored knobs. HP upgrade for all uh, units which have commander armor. Tier 3 up, needs a global upgrade immediately and goes for it. Yes, I do count power and uh, requisition when I say uh, when I mention the float number, of course. It's not like uh, floating uh, one thousand power and having uh, 100 uh, requisition is uh, a good excuse. The float is float. You have to manage e your economy wisely. Tomb Spider here. Are you kidding me? One hit for two squads of tank busters and more than half HP down on the Tomb Spider. This is, uh, yeah, some, uh, the damage is higher than I expected on the tank busters. If you can actually be a bit faster with uh, this thing, I guess you can uh, kill all the destroyers so fast. You just need better micro. Alex should have gotten inside and chased that tomb spider. Take it down. Tier 3 up in the meantime for the Necrons. Got a second monolith also. He starts to feel really good. Economy is good. Pariah's on the way. Works economy, however, is still better. Flash gates are here. Two squads. Rip pariahs. And rip played ones. And maybe even rip uh, Necron Lord. This Tomb Spider should have been dead long ago. Alex uh, messed up with uh, Micro. What's this income? 180 almost on Orcs to 60. I don't know why people complain about uh, Necron's economy in late. You should check Imperial Guard and Orcs also from time to time. Necron's economy is a lot lower compared to work right now. Should have been at least 150. Too much this work. Furthermore, work's infantry is also a lot stronger right now. It depends how Alex will use it. He destroys the relic, should jump in with a storm boy and decap it and it's GG. 
without the restored monolith, uh, they can't do anything here. Lord got killed, makes a new one. And what's even worse, Necron's economy now goes down, even if he does not lose generators, it goes down slowly. In about 5 minutes it will be 100 instead of uh, 120. Another mech shop for unknown reasons, tier 4 almost up there. Alex refuses to jump in with the storm boys and decap the relic, a mistake. Not enough for tier 4 yet. I guess the only hope for Maniac is if he builds uh, the energy core soon and makes the restored monolith. Otherwise it's not winnable. Power upgrade for work. Solar pools, it's good if work has so much firepower. I guess this is what you need. Looted tank on the way. And squigath. Energy core ongoing. No Daka for uh, works. Alex does not know that Daka provides more damage to flash gates and shooter boys, apparently. He should have made those two cheap upgrades. Very worth it. Again, uh, over 1000 float on orc. Should build another stronghold at this point. Build one more stronghold. He might need it if this will turn into a long game. It's not mandatory, of course, but it could be a good bonus. Yeah, and also no free sluggers to keep uh, the pressure on Necron. Alex uh, simply forgot about it. We are second power, second global uh, for power, fighter bomber, and more shooter boys for some reasons. Make a squad of knobs, they will help you with engagements. It's much better. Lord Destroyers from uh, Necron, Maniac does not have enough for uh, the restored monolith. Lord Destroyer is effective to deal with uh, Squigath. Wait, this stasis was uh, bad? It didn't uh, stun anything. A misclick or just poorly cast from Maniac here. Squigath should uh, get out of here. It suffers a lot versus uh, Pariah with a Lord Destroyer combo. Because Lord Destroyers are anti-demon. And as you can see Squigath has demon type uh, unit. Well, he will kill this uh, lord. Too low HP. Oh yes, Manolith could have helped, but no income. Without the Lord Destroyers, uh, 
It's also difficult. The economy does not allow for everything. And also, if you're playing versus Necron, make sure you focus these Lord Destroyers with anti-infantry, anti-commander type of damage. It's not a vehicle, it's a commander. Many people don't know that. And use anti-vehicle versus Lord Destroyers, it's terrible. Nice mess in here, but uh, no damage from Necrons. They don't have damage dealing uh, units right now. And work units do not die as a result. What's this? 4000 float. GG. It wasn't as bad as I expected from Alex, he approximately knew what he has to do, I mean what type of units at least. He made the right units. He did zero damage to Necron economy, it was very well defended however, so maybe it's a good idea that he didn't even bother with that. Could have failed. Okay, what next? Cuba Bob also wanted to play. Maybe the, uh, he can uh, go versus Blasphemer if he will rehost. Blink, I don't know yet, but there's a delay on the stream, so uh, you must be in the lobby if you want to join a 1v1. Cuba Bob actually hosted. The reason why Cubebab has to rehost is because uh, if you host uh, the game with, uh, like, for example, Abandon All Hope, and uh, if you change the map uh, later, the players from the lobby will still see the initial map you selected. So they will simply refuse to join if they see such a bad map or non standard one. The most popular ones for 1v1s, definitely Fata Morga, probably the most popular and maybe the most hated also. Battle Marshes and Blood River, Meeting of Minds also, very popular ones. See you later Jim, thanks for uh, coming and watching. Blink, you can uh, join versus Cuba Bob. I mean, his game at the moment. What's your nickname in the game?
Okay. Blink playing Necrons. Cube Bob goes for random as always. Necron spawns top side. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Cubia Bob gets Dark Elder. Goes for a build through Hall of Blood. Hi guys, welcome. Cubia Bob makes a fast slave chamber. He will also play only one Mandrake squad. It's not a bad build, but if you start capturing this point, then build the Hall of Blood on this side, so you can get the warriors out to get to capture this point a bit faster. Aaron, if you find an opponent in your game, let me know. Aircon follows after three squads of warriors. This could work from the Dark Eldam, a kind of all in. How much for an Incubus, I wonder? Will he have enough power to reinforce enough of them? We'll find out soon. Okay, he allows Necron to see that uh, he has got three squads of warriors. Probably a mistake. He should have kept them hidden and then uh, do a sudden attack after reinforcing this, the warriors. Don't uh, let Necron n uh, know, don't reveal yourself. Because uh, he will prepare. Lord gets made. This is a mistake here. Should have built summoning core instead of the Lord faster. And make the upgrade or flayed ones or this upgrade on the obelisk. A stun on the Lord and some heavy focus from three warriors and he dies. Simple. Look at the DPS though. Look at the DPS guys, tell me. How good the Lord is in this matchup. Stun uh, gets thrown, more than half HP down. Did he bug it? It's pro yeah, it's a bug stun unfortunately. He probably has to delete the Aircon. Well, the point is, you don't make the Lord if you see so many warriors. 
In general, I wouldn't make the Lord. It's just not good in uh, this matchup. It's good if you get it in uh, tier 3 or tier 4. By the way, guys, if you ever misclick uh, with the stun and um, somehow uh, cast the bugged stun, the eternal one on the enemy squad, you can delete your aircon. And it will cancel the stun if you delete the aircon. Or you can try to, to suicide it quick. Still stunned. Okay, Necron left. Yes, Blink, you do need the faster Necron warriors. And you need a lot of them, and you need faster upgrade. And you do not need to get out on the map. You, you should play defensively. And it's... I mean, you should feel happy if you manage to even defend from Dark Elder all in. Because if you manage to defend yourself and survive it, you have good chances to win. It's the most difficult part and the most important one in the matchup to survive this Dark Elder all in. Lord doesn't help with that, as you see. Who is here? Let me check. Aaron. Yeah, he's here. Blink, you don't need a turret in the base. For the start, uh, focus on getting uh, your Necron Warriors reinforced. Make 3-4 squads of Warriors. Upgrade them, 
uh, once you've got the upgrade, start reinforcing the squads even more. And you should try to defend duty, your base and slowly, very slowly take uh, your points. And very carefully. If you make a huge mass of warriors and go out on the map, chances are big that you will lose the fight in open field. You must defend your base under the LP2's turrets. Yes, you can build a turret if um, you feel like Necron Warriors are not enough. Usually you don't need it. LP2 can be sufficient. Hello, Scoots. Usually you prioritize Necron Warrior mass and upgrade, and maybe even flayed ones. And if you feel that you need a turret later, yes, you can add it, a defensive one. It depends a lot what what's happening in the game. Wow, Cubebub got Necrons, nice. Three... Six generators, fast, and uh, Imperial Guard from Eren. He says it's not smurfing if, uh, well, he says it's not smurfing if he does not hide it, but if you don't hide it, why do you even make a new account? Play from your main if you're using the same nickname. I don't get the point. Scarabs came to feed uh, those guardsmen and the tech priest. Sad waste. out go quickly in here and uh, delay this point oh it's already almost finished nice looks ugly for Necron Imperial Guard took both points the outer ones which belong to Necron Disruption field and flayed ones. If you make this upgrade, reinforce your warriors then. Make two full squads at least, I don't know. Or ignore it and only reinforce the warriors. Sometimes it's better to just ignore this in tier 1. It's too expensive, it's very slow, and it's not so good. You can do it in tier 2 when you want a double upgrade on the warriors. Tier 1 is playable without it.
goes for plus 90 income. Cuba Bob, he knows how to build economy for sure. Let's see if he, if he will survive this pressure for another 5 minutes. What he's doing with a uh, warrior is, is actually good. 5 members on each squad, that's a good uh, combination. No need to overwatch like stupid. A third squad is out. And an LP2 here. Uh, Whale of Terror is uh, the name, if I'm not mistaken. Or Whale of Doom, <laughs> I forgot how it's called, but it's... The ability you get from it is a good one. One powerful hit. Successful defense here, but floats again. Should have ordered tier 2 faster. Also, as soon as uh, Imperial Guard gets plasma, all of this will die. Played ones, warriors, all that's gonna get killed. So if you do this, do some damage in tier 1 ASAP. Don't just sit in the base. Tier 2 uh, for Imperial Guard, very fast one. Time for the tactical control. Basically full control of the game from Eren Beast, even, with, uh, even without tactical control. Good job. Necron tier 2 up. Builds a ghost turret next to the slag deposit. He wants a big generator. I approve. And he also goes for the greater summoning core. Good one. Now make sure you don't uh, lose your infantry. Keep it alive at all costs to defend the turret in here until it gets upgraded. Defend the big generator. And then upgrade your warriors. Flayed ones should uh, get teleported here to fight the command squad or build a turret in the area to defend. Okay, this could be difficult to defend here, these turrets. Aaron actually focuses the Lord. No solar pills yet. If you see uh, so many weapons on the guardsmen, I guess you can get solar pills. It's a sign he's gonna play a uh, range. And he needed a wraith in here. Or the flayed ones. Feels like they got killed. Well, this turret is uh, a waste so far. Hasn't even been upgraded. It won the Necron some time. Unfortunately, he will not have a big generator. Not yet. Imperial Guards economy 153 to 60. And only plus 94 Necrons. And Imperial Guards infantry is also a lot more powerful right now. Armor upgrade almost done. Has enough to go tier 3. No mechanized command yet. Almost 1000 one float. Too many resources. The warriors have been useless pretty much in the in the game. Uh, 
they failed to take down this LP2. They will take down this one. I guess that's the only damage they have done in 10 minutes. And probably not even worth it, because a, a lot of them died. Okay, a Tomb Spider with ranged weapon is here. A second one is coming, the Lord could die. Big generator up for Eren Beast. Morale upgrades for Eren Beast. Two of them. This one also provides. Uh, a little bit more health for uh, Guardsmen. As you can see, their HP increased by about uh, 600 or maybe 100. Didn't really pay attention, but it increased a bit, the HP on the squad. Not a big deal, but a nice bonus. Because it's a morale upgrade, not HP. Pressure from two sides here on uh, Cubia Bob. A Tomb Spider almost destroyed, and there's zero anti vehicle in the area. Not a, not a single Sentinel got out, only the first one now. Should get here. Okay, two Tomb Spiders with ranged weapon, a third one is out. Feels defendable for Necron, his problem however is this economy. It's too low and uh, the destroyer is idling. Sentinel here. Takes down the Tomb Spider. Well, it's time to say GG. Chimera on the way. Tomb Spiders arrange the weapons just like destroyers focus um, the commanders in the squad. Squad uh, surgeons, leaders. GG. Three sentinels here. Yoshi, that one was from Oblivion, I think. I can feel the vibes. Oblivion vibes are a bit different compared to Skyrim. Skyrim is even more chill and a bit darker. Oblivion uh, themes are a bit uh, lighter. Guys, who wants to play versus Eren Beast? Maybe Alex, if you're still here. I will ask him. Mm -hmm. 
Bebop not out yet. He tends to overextend usually. But there is no hope here. Only one Psyker from uh, Eren also in this game. If you see three Tomb Spiders and Destroyer, try to make more Psykers. They will help, trust me. Rematch on Blood River. Bebab gets Tau this time. I'm pretty sure Eren Beast knows his faction. If he uses those stats, he knows. And this most likely will be a turret rush all in from Imperial Guard. I, I can already see it coming. Very popular strat for this map. Bad rally point also from Kbebab. Still set on the tower barracks. Lost some time with those stealth suits. And he makes three stealth suits on Blood River. Oh boy. This will be a hellish experience, I guess. Commissar out. Three stealth suits are okay in the hands of a very experienced Tau player. If you're not 100% comfortable with Tau, I guess you should only make two stealth suits or maybe even one and try to all in sometimes. There we go with Eren Beast's uh, strategy, a tech priest, two tech priests uh, on going here. So, so predictable. 
And the worst part is, I am not really sure what Tao should do to stop this. For sure he will need Vespids to try and cancel those turrets. But then they are not so resilient in the fights. I don't know honestly how to stop this. Fire Warrior Squad here, fighting a Commissar in close combat, big mistake. Fire Warrior should be running, they get too much damage from the Commissar. And they get slaughtered. Here the LP1, the unfinished one, wasn't even cancelled. This is GG. Instead of 3 stealth suits, I don't know, make faster Vespids and maybe a squad of Crutes. Maybe that could help. Fire Warriors uh, not good uh, early game here. At least it so feels, even a tech priest can uh, keep them busy. It's a commander after all, doesn't really get damaged. Two tech priests uh, keeping uh, two squads of fire warriors busy. Lovely. Fire warriors would eventually win, but it's so much time won for uh, the Imperial Guard player. A point captured here in the Tau base, the turret doesn't even need to get finished, GG gets called and it's over. Well played Eren Beast. If Cube Bob keeps playing random, I don't think he can win a single game versus Eren, because Eren plays uh, a, a faction. A faction on which he's very experienced. He's got over 5000 1v1 games for sure on Imperial Guard, while Cube Bob only plays random. And maybe what? Maybe he's got like up to 500 games on each. I bet it's a lot less. So, simply not enough experience to match Eren in this case. So, I asked him to pick one of his best races. He, he selected Tau. He said Tau and Chaos might be his best. Okay. It did not look so good in the previews, but I can uh, understand. Maybe not enough experience versus uh, all hints. Commander and Vespids this time from uh, Kbebab. That means a, uh, the first LP1 is a bit delayed.
Nice one here, Aaron Beast didn't see this coming, it seems. Tech Priest was not nearby to defend uh, the generator. To repair. Well, I bet it wouldn't have saved the generator. Command squad is too far away, they found the generator in Tau's base and they will take it down. Pretty sure. Our generator goes down as expected. Counter harass here from command squad. General dies. No, no sonic pills used yet. Interesting. Also, the psyker got killed. Good job with the Vesp, it's in range. Feels like my microphone was muted for some time. I was saying Command Squad alone is uh, not sufficient to face this. And it's a very, very slow restoration of the generator from Tau's side. That means tier 2 is heavily delayed for Tau. Bob trying to find some uh, vulnerable points there on the Imperial Guard side to use those Vespids. Unfortunately, since they are so squishy and many of them were red, they can get killed even by a single tech priest inside the listening post. Quick uh, transportation here to the other LP. 
by Erin Beast. Defends both uh, LP1s with a single tech priest uh, from uh, this Vespid Haras. Another victory for the greater good. Prosper as Tier 2 almost up. Economy is okay. He could even order the global upgrade immediately. Once he hits tier 2, he's floating 300 power soon. Needs one more tech priest here to deal the damage from the inside. Will this go down? So much for an LP1. Well, the Vespids did some nice uh, harass here. It delayed the generator. They destroyed the LP1. It's good. Strip Soul absorbed by the Tau Commander, half HP down. From Tau, Vehicle Beacon. In the meantime, he managed to hit tier 2. Very low income, however. And he's got a, a lot better map control, but lower economy. How is this even possible? Okay, now it's better, but not for long. As soon as this global hits. It's gonna be about the same. In fact, this power income on the Imperial Guard is a big deal. 88 to 40, 92 to 20. Could say Imperial Guard economy now is better with just 3 points. And they crit. Do they have the strain leader? Oh yeah. This, this guy makes the squad a lot more powerful. Chimera here, LP2 is saved. Point will be restored here. Tau is in a good position. Acceptable economy, two squads of fire warriors alive, Vespids alive, Tau commander alive. Should add the miss missile launcher. And optics are here. Good timing for the optics, by the way. Fire warriors were useless all this time. They were idling in the base. So rushing the optics is not a good idea. When you carry them with a devil fish, it's better. Priest uh, will die. Thanks for feedback, Manga. Appreciated. A stun on the Devil Fish here, and detection from the Psyker. Devil Fish is gonna get uh, destroyed for sure. It's very squishy. The strength of the Devil Fish is the vision it provides, and the weapon. Nice DPS to all kinds of units. You must be careful, however, with this. Don't get them too close into the enemy. Kebabab having a hard time keeping up with economy, I see. 85 to 50. Honestly, it should be higher. Because uh, his units are not as cost effective as this guardsman with Chimera. And his uh, stuff is more expensive. Barracuda. 
out. This is good. Very good for battle marches. Has to start harassing somehow. Take down the Chimera. Maybe kill the priest. Let's check the damage. Good damage to commander. Can't complain. We'll get stunned. Dodged uh, the stun. Dodged uh, the stun twice. Nice. Well, the Barakuda does make it so. Uh, I mean, make the uh, makes the Tau's life a lot easier. Very mobile units, unlike fire warriors. Good one in here goes for the turret while it's still not upgraded. We'll uh, take it down. Oh, I see. I thought that was a minefield. Apparently, basilisks. Kibabab sees from where it uh, hits. If you get hit by a basilisk, uh, his location is revealed. So you can go with a Barracuda in there and take it down. And maybe get some support from um, the stealth suit as well. Turret was focusing Vespids for some time. Barracuda will survive. Turret uh, goes down. Tier 3 up for uh, Eren Beast, however. And the Tau is floating. Uh, this float is not forgivable. Goes Mont Ka after Imperial Guard hits tier 3. Huge mistake. This uh, Mont Ka path is good if you build it at the 7th minute. We're at the 14th minute now. And it's a lot uh, late compared to I IG tier 3. And it is miss here. The reason why Montka sucks so bad versus Imperial Guard is because uh, the unit it allows you to build get easily countered by just two units Imperial Guard has. Assassin killing the Clark Crisis battle suits in a second. And Psykers stunning uh, Hammerheads. Montka useless. It's as if you don't even have tier 3 if you build it. And you pay resources for that. Invest in Kayon, get uh, the improved metallurgy, get upgraded barracudas with HP, make 5 of them, destroy everything in here. Nothing to defend from Barracuda Haras at this very moment. Make the crude hounds, yeet these uh, basilisks and heavy weapons teams. Teachings of Montka. He really wants those hammerheads. Well, if you see this coming, make three psychers from the HQ. Don't wait. Assassin is out. Very nice. The harass is not too bad from Tau. That's one good thing Babab has done in this game, harassing IG a bit, keeping him low early. Oh, we've got a crisis battle suit out. We'll check what he can do, by the way, guys. 
The assassin is right here, waiting for it. Now he even saw it. Not in range yet. So the harass was good, but it, uh, it's not... Not as good as it could be. Mars pattern command up, Imperial Guard tier 4. Just like Tau. Another crisis battle suit gets made because uh, this is Montka. The Hammerhead is here. Sadly, only one Psyker from Eren, but it could, might be enough against one Hammerhead. I'd like to see the casting range. Can Psyker uh, stun this? Wow, wow, wow! Even the strip soul from the Psyker hurts this thing so bad. Did zero damage. Huge waste of time and resources, of course. Eren Beast refuses to stun uh, the Hammerhead for some reasons. Unknown. Got the fanaticism. Takes down the devil fish. Lemon Ross is out. It for sure can outrange uh, the Hammerheads. Oh, there goes uh, the stun. Hello, tier 4 Hammerhead. What can you do now? Can't believe people uh, go uh, Montka for this. Bab uh, keeps producing these uh, units here. No idea why. Aaron decided to go AFK and uh, prepare some tea. His uh, base is perfectly defended. He does not want to go out and uh, fight. Doesn't want to end this game. Tau sits on 86 income. Imperial Guard on 131. Okay, Eren is uh, getting his Bane Blade. Another attempt here from Cubia Bob. Sudden attack. Where's that assassin? How did he lose it? Oh, it's alive. Hammerhead targeting the Mars Pattern Command. Eren Beast's uh, religion not allowing him to make mob psychers on time. Okay, he stunned it. Bara could actually do a lot more damage to this than the Hammerhead. Hammerhead down. Another psyker here. Stuns the Barracuda. Tau's base in trouble. Don't know what he said. Something in French. Oh boy. One hit from uh, Assassin dropped it to red HP. With a special hit, it's definitely a kill in one shot. Thank you. 
and a new hammer head here. Can he even beat a lemon ras one on one? I wonder. Yeah, I guess so. Only if the lemon ras is not repaired, probably. DPS is definitely good from this thing to vehicles and buildings. But if you stun it with a psyker, it's over. I think those beasts are better. The Kayon beasts, the tier 4 ones. They are more tanky, they can't get stunned. Forty-seven to seventy-eight income here on Tau. hundred and thirty-two to seventy-six for Imperial Guard. Floats about thirteen hundred. Time for counter attack. I see Aaron Biz decided to take him down with Earthshakers. No Bane Blade. Does he even have a relic? Yeah. No, this is Taos. No relic for Imperial Guard. I get it now. Assassin here got. Uh, Exterminated by Orbital. Ethereal casts it for one front. Two Psychers here. But only one stun. Pretty sure I'm seeing two Psychers. Why only one stun? Still, the command squad has not been upgraded to five members. You make two priests and two psychers and you have endless stuns and uh, a lot of resilience for the psychers from fanaticism. So you can always endlessly stun these hammerheads. That's why you need the command squad. Don't use it for something else. Only now he upgrades it, Uncommon Valor. GG finally gets called. Montka could have been good again earlier in the game. If you make it faster than... Uh, Tier 3 Imperial Guard, maybe it will work, but very low chances. I've never seen um, Tau Montka beat strong Imperial Guard players.
Okay. I will uh, play probably one or maybe a few 1v1 games versus Qbebab. If Bob will join, I will play, if not, I will keep observing. Above needs a few minutes. I guess I will also uh, make a short break.
All right, let's get it started. I hate to ask it. it, makes me misclick sometimes. And I also do not do not see my keyboard properly because of the microphone sits in my face. And I can't hit the buttons if I don't look at the keyboard, I have to move my head around. So it annoys me a bit. Wait, 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 you go there. This will be taken by shooter boys. He's got space marines, a nightmare for me. I, I can't uh, win them for some reasons if I play orc. They refuse to die against me. Get there. Which way? Build it right up. Now they all get out. No more kicking. Of yours. Yes. Drops a good age, don't I? Yes. Alright. Of yours. Get it from the way I've been. I'm working on something. Please. No more kicking. Nice. I will cancel this. What the fail? A wasted jump for nothing. Okay. Maybe a squad could be in here, I hope. Okay, they are here. Very nice, I think I got it. Rip scouts. I will also capture this. Oh, the first commander is here, I need to be careful now. Maybe go get this squad on there. On the relic. Okay, he's got LP2. Destruct space marines as much as I can. Keep them at home. LP2 there? No, but I can't take the generator because of the tactical marines. Lost my slugger, boys. Somehow. He's doing good. Good build, probably. Good economy. Not so much infantry. 
I don't know what he's doing, honestly. Is he going fast here too? Oh no, he's got the plasma. I need to retreat. I need to focus on uh, making stronger infantry. And quick. Get the Gretchen's in there, need some vision. Okay, he went away from here. It's time to do the damage now, I cannot really afford to build one more generator. Need to try and do some damage while I can. Right? And this. No choppy yet, a bit of a uh, delay there, because I prioritized uh, the speed boost. Okay, he's going for the Rhino, that's definitely gonna be a pain. Idling storm boys, not so good. Honestly, I don't have much of a clue what to, how to deal with the Rhino now. This is my issue. How do I kill this? I probably can't, must go back. I will stun it when they get closer. And then jump in. Oh, I've lost the mech. GG. I guess. Maybe I would have a chance if I had uh, the mech alive in this fight.
I am pretty sure my economy is better, however. I did uh, good economy damage. But I'm still not sure if I can win after all that. His uh, infantry is more cost effective. My units uh, die like flies. This is the reason I have Overwatch enabled on my Stormboy squads. Because they melt. Oh, forgot about my stormies. Guess I can live with that loss. Get me a squad of knobs. He's tier 3, how is this even possible? I tried hard to destroy his economy. I have no idea. The micro is off, however, definitely. Should only blame myself. No detection for him. He did not make the librarian for some reasons. No more uh, skull probes. And he's left with one point. Can he still win though? The way I'm playing, I don't know. Finally, he's got detection. Bad jump, definitely bad. No way I'm gonna win that fight. Guys, I don't know what I did wrong. Why is it so difficult? 
probably lost too much. Now I simply can't kill his infantry. I don't have DPS. And ironically I control two points from his base. Five war tracks. Well, at least they can disrupt the marine infantry. I guess that's what I need. And then I will make flash gates, I guess, in tier 3. What's this misclicks? Stormies. Make sure I don't lose all that. The reason why I want to keep this aggression up is because if I let him chill it feels like I let him chill 2 minutes mid game and he hit tier 3 so easily on a 3 points. Okay. Don't bother me. I'm working on 
Need DPS now. On flash gates and knobs. Don't forget about this one, still very important. Maybe I will sacrifice a few to get a fighter bomber. I need more Gretchens. Oh, don't have this yet. Big mistake. Come on, pathing. No, this DPS is too much. Sit back. Yes, I have to sit back patiently and wait. This is unstoppable. Sure, he does not counter attack on the other side. I see. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be easier a bit if I if I do so much economy damage. I should be able to win the game a bit faster. Well I hope he's not tier 4, that's all. I can commit to it. Oh. 
painful. Well, I jumped in with the knobs, two squads of flesh gets still nothing. The battle is not won yet, boys. Need to try harder on next attempt. Where's my Gretchen? Pretty sure I ordered. Can't charge into them. <laughs> it probably will uh, get uh, bugged. Commanders went to fight him. Okay, I guess this combination is not so good, but I will try it out. somewhere or what probably was the frag grenades bad bad combination don't repeat it well I guess this is over now but it was such a difficult game I can't believe I need tier 4 to beat this it felt impossible And I still don't have this upgrade. I think I clicked it three times. Guess I overwatched too much. Oh, save yourself. Land Reader out. Okay. Lost my war bus somehow. Okay. The whirlwind is also here. I went to finish off that land reader. If I finish it, he can't make it again. Because he has no relic. And then I need this mech alive again. Lost vision of the land reader at the very last second. Are you kidding me? Taken all the 
Okay, it's that one. Thank God. I will need it for free slugger boys and extra in common requisition. That second HQ. Pretty sure I heard the squig at his AFK. Get in here. Get in here and help the boys. One more squad of storm boys to attach us to the war boss. Fighter bombers keep disrupting my own flash gates so many times. Make more Gretchen's, please. Forgot I can upgrade LP3. Had to do that. Hold this position because I don't want to give him the relic again. Get this Gretchen's to repair in here. Looks like it. Yes. What a weird game. I played so bad in the hands of a more, I don't know, a player who could be able to control the units better. He would have won it uh, maybe 20 minutes ago. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We went to trade the bases. I'm not sure if I want this. I will try to defend it. Get the squig back. But I will also do some uh, damage on his side. Will he decap though? One minute taken hold win. Check his base also. I will destroy it. Think I've got enough to defend here. Of course I will get damaged a bit, but I won't lose the entire base. I have got a backup HQ after all. Okay, ignore everything and go for his buildings. All of my Gretchen's busy.
The free slugger boys, ironically, they also helped in this game. They kept uh, like three of his squads and commanders busy for a long time. Okay, okay. Save yourself. GG. Obviously, I was not able to read any of the comments during the game. There are probably a lot of them in the game, I won't be able to read them all. Bob wants a revenge game. I will give it to him, of course. Wait. Not sure what map, Battle Marshes maybe will be good. I did not look at the kill count, I guess he killed a lot more compared to me.
Hello again guys, whoever joined recently, brother Yerikus, jo Joshua Thanks for the chat activity We're gonna start in a moment If it's gonna be another such long game, I guess I uh, will stick to observing after I played one game <laughs> and I feel so exhausted. Haven't played such long games in years. Of course, a million misclicks. If I tried to uh, write something, he's got Dark Elder. Well, the game could be a nightmare. Let's see what I can do. Just hope my hands won't be as stoned in this game. Probably a bad mistake here with the jump, but what can I do? Can I build it? He also wasted both jumps, so not so bad. He's gonna play river jet bikes. River jet bikes are here, I need to be very, very careful now. Yes. 
how I'm handling the fights. I have no idea where I lost a squad of slug up boys. Oh, it's alive. Thank God. Thought I lost it. It's good if I can hold my uh, part of the map. It's not a very bad spot for me right now. My economy is acceptable. No, no, no. I'm scared to go out. If I go out, I could lose my entire infantry. Need to be careful. You see, right? Three river jet bikes. Lost my gretchens, unfortunately, got some information. Should have uh, infiltrated them. Ah, that was expected. This is why I uh, built pile of guns on this side and the war banner. But I am fine on that part. Need to decapture here while I can. And take that relic. They are coming. There's one reason you go for the knob leaders. You need as much HP as you can get. I don't have the armor yet, however. Should have cancelled that big shooter. Tougher knobs never hurt. What's it? What's it? Need to make this. He's got them upgraded now, that's right, run. 
That's a ton of DPS right there. I could stun them. I guess I will to save this squad. That mech damage, whoa, whoa, whoa. I could lose it here. Need to go back. Very low economy right now for me. I probably cannot recover. We'll need a ton of time to get back into the game. Can I kill that dude? Oh yeah, he died. Whoa, the witches are here, so he's got both. He used that ability which disables all uh, heroes stuff. Not sure if I can hold in here. His stuff is very tanky. My stun did not work. Are you kidding me? And it got wasted. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's my idiot. If you enter a building, the ability gets cancelled, apparently. A detail I forgot about the game. can't get out. If I get out, I lose. Oh wait, I lost the pile of guns. Almost forgot.
Okay, I definitely can. Uh, <laughs> I can't stop this. GG. <coughs> Might have a chance if you don't lose so much as I did in the mid game. It's over. If someone wants to host with observers, I could. Uh, Stream it. Kubia Bob got uh, his revenge. He played well. I should have uh, stayed behind my uh, LP2s and banners. The biggest uh, loss was my pile of guns, LP2, and one banner when he attacked with bikes, and my stun failed. Apparently Yaren told me before that Kpebab's Dark Elder is good, but I forgot. Was it <laughs> on today's stream? Yeah, it felt good. He knows what he's doing. I played two games, but feels like I've got enough. They were both pretty long, and not as one-sided as they could be. I guess I'm done with playing for today, and I might even end uh, the stream soon. Depends uh, how many games will be up and for how long. On outer reaches, a game here between Eren Beast's Imperial Guard and Kebab's Elder. What would you have us do? We will fulfill our duty. We are shaped by fate just as we shape it. Oh, 
What emergency? Eren. He probably left. The unit staying AFK. This will be a rehost. Aaron Beast has an emergency. I'm not sure if he will be back. I'll be around in 30 minutes. I can I can keep uh, the stream running, and, but I need a break. It's been almost four hours for me without a break. So, yes, Alex. I guess I can keep it up and then observe stream uh, your games if you will be playing. For sure I need to go uh, have dinner because I didn't yet. So I guess I'll go now if this game starts.
Eldar vs Imperial Garden Shrine of Exhalion. Hope you guys really enjoy this. I will leave camera in the center probably. It might catch some uh, battles. Well, I guess Eldar could be playing aggressively. So maybe on this side somewhere. Let's leave it here. I will be back in 15 minutes maybe. Stay around and then we'll watch uh, Alex a bit later. I hear the machine spirit's voice. Sir, sir, what do we do? for payback.
Okay, I am back. Okay, good. Aaron is also back. And maybe soon we'll uh, get to watch Aaron versus um, Alex. I would enjoy it so much. Apologies. Eren versus Sova. Imperial Guard versus uh, Elder. Feels like I need a co cast help in here. Let me see if anyone is available in Discord. Okay, the previous game got disconnected, I was muted all this time. for Aaron based.
Hello? Hello, how are you? Okay. Is my voice uh, good? Hello. Okay. Okay, guys, I got a voice chat with Blast now. He will help me. I hope a game will get started, so... Alex said he will play soon. He should, he should be back in a moment. About 20 minutes ago he said he will be able to play in 30 minutes. So maybe he can play versus Aaron Beast. Blast, Darren wants to play. We need opponent. I might play. But I might not uh, perform very good. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I know, we probably need top shape versus uh, someone like Aaron. Oh, got bugged, sadly. Okay. I guess it will be rehosted. By the way, does Wraith still use your uh, nickname? For a for a sec know. for a second, I thought it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Wraith, I do not think so. Yeah, he doesn't. I saw him on the uh, Dawn of War two as well uh, when we played this campaign in the uh, chat, in the general chat. He was using his own name. Yeah, he's using uh, his real nickname now. Yeah. But he's in Soul Storm at the moment. <laughs> okay, good luck, I guess. I guess I will only look at your side so you can explain what you're doing if you wish. Yeah, I can try to. But uh, no need to speak at all times if you want to focus, of course. It can be very distracting yeah, yeah. to you both play and speak all the time i know it i think i can ma manage it pretty okay but yeah when i have nothing to say i will just not say anything
Titans fall, um, not so good, I'd say. For, yeah. ne for Necron, it's... I would pre prefer uh, Tranquility's End over Titans fall any, any time. Because of the negative cover. Those big generators on Titans fall, it's very hard to get sometimes, if opponent is smart. <laughs> so yeah. you can lose even the outer points. And the relic is also in open field. On Tranquility is the end, it's at least on high ground, protected. It's kinda and bad even, probably, for Imper the Necron. Yeah, and Imperial Guards uh, have too much mobility to actually destroy the uh, big generators, be destroy the outer points. All the races, <laughs> all the races, not, not just Imperial Guards. Mm. I don't know, I think it's like easier to get against like orcs, let's say. You, I can just hold against orcs. Um, like, Imperial Guard just comes in with the Chimera and destroys everything. Yeah. It's a good map for Imperial Guard, very good. Aaron Beast also went it in the voice chat, but I'm afraid we'll speak all at once, so it will be a mess. Two is probably enough. Probably. By the way, do you hear anything besides my voice? Do you hear any echo from my boxes, maybe? No. Okay. It's all okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a very good setup. Should be fine. Nice color scheme, by the way. Does it make your Necrons faster? I suppose so. I cannot really see the color schemes. You probably uh, should close combat, yeah. Close combat yeah. them. There's a chance you will uh, disrupt the priest. Yeah, I disrupted <laughs> all of them. Yeah, it's good. Also same with the Vespids. Yeah. This pressure is so such a nightmare from Imperial Guard. It no lose HP when they yeah, get the combat yeah. slow. The command squad won't uh, die for a very long time, any members. Nice fatality. Generally this low HP though. I am not sure, but my stream might not be stable. It seems like it really dropped. No idea what's happening. Uh, when I rewatched, uh, when RMB said that it, it dropped or something, it was something like... Uh, what do you say? I think it restarted for some reason. Yeah, but YouTube is telling me that uh, the stream health is excellent. Very weird. I Probably overloaded I servers. I think they're not very uh, reliable. <laughs> the YouTube is. Okay, the game is ac actually up on the stream. It's fine. He can failed. Yeah, too many guardsmen in there. Did he drop or something? I think he's AFK. Oh, okay. All good, all good. Play your best. Keep playing. 
Okay. If such is the Emperor's will, the Emperor guides I will have someone's head for this. By the way, it probably will not be worth upgrading Necron Warriors. Yeah, I will just uh, try to push this You point. can keep them like that and try to just tank with them a bit in the fight or uh, harass with them. And maybe get Wraiths and Flayed Ones instead to harass Imperial Guard economy. Focusing on that could be much better than fighting him. But must also... Uh, be sure you defend well, in case he goes in. Nice one, but I bet none of them will die. I so tried to pass with the... Thing. So annoying. And not enough uh, for a turret. Turret pathing could have helped. Mm, maybe. I'm not that fast though. No, but you did did not have enough power. By the way, this early archive is probably a mistake. It's so expensive and uh, you did not get any, any artifact yet, right? I got a uh, phase shift. Oh, okay. J just in case, but it's now useless. I think it's a waste. Maybe should build it after global upgrades. If you don't feel extremely pressured. I, I do not feel that confident. I see. No, it's fine. Now you got Philactory. It's, it's very good now. Yeah. I mean, if you build it, try to make use, it, uh, use of it ASAP. Yeah, I'm regenerating faster now. High Maximus. People fleeing from the stream slowly. Tomorrow... No, tomorrow is Sunday actually. No work day. Hi Alex, welcome back. Nice, nice push here. Dude, this command squad, oh my god. They simply refuse to go low in HP. Like uh, I was, I was hitting them for like ten seconds, and they barely lost any HP. Yeah, yeah. It, okay. They they start losing HP faster for some reason when th when they are low. I'm not sure yeah. how this works. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. Gotta love this game. Whoa, the priest escaped on seven HP. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, the Lord died or what? Where's the Lord? You could uh, uh, you could focus that priest in range, he's... but in, you have to find him. Nice, yeah. nice, very nice push, man. I, mean, I think it's already over. No, no, no! Don't don't uh, don't chill yet. But okay. but very good economy damage. Very good. I like it. This is how you yeah. do it. Very nice. Upgrade this turret. It oh reaches yeah, both infantry command and LP2. Very nice. Whoa, he's got LP3 up in the base. Ugh. Dude, his economy on three points, but it's so it's better than expected. Yeah. I G. And no global yet. It's from the LP3. He gets 24 income from that LP3. <laughs> That's so much. Yeah, but it's like on all the factions. But then, uh, I mean, they have the global. Yeah, yeah. After global, it's it's ridiculous actually. Yeah. Provides bonus to all the income sources. I'm not sure about the percentage, but it's it's too high.
Nice, plus 90 will be enough. You only need to keep up with the pressure. Yeah. I need the uh, teleportation on the flight. You ones, probably need thinking. more flight ones, yeah. Yeah. I should actually keep these Necron Warriors alive. Yeah, I guess so. It's the only dudes that can do some damage to the command squad. What Eren Beast should have done in this case? Faster Chimeras probably. Yeah, and this LP3 probably damaged his economy in yeah, bad yeah. shape. For some reason he likes to do the, these LP3s. I noticed it many times. Yeah. GG. GG. Well played. Well Thank played. You. You, you said you were very tired, but you did very well. No floats almost. Um. Yeah, I was, I don't know, I expected better from him, to be honest. He didn't really push me in tier 1. Uh, he, does not, and he doesn't know your playstyle, I guess. You surprised him. Good I job. Well, maybe. Alex, I used to do... Oh, we are on Discord. It's not Hello, a server. Alex. It's not a server, it's uh, from friends list. Yes, it's private, Alex, you cannot join. <laughs> Kidding. He says, "Go read." Yeah, you you should give re much if a player wants it so bad. I think it's fair, even if you feel like you don't want to play. I think uh, a re much must be given at least one, even if you really don't want to play. But if you have to go IRL somewhere, yeah, it's you can't help it. What do oh, they no, mean? Yeah. Uh, season 4, part 3, I don't get this. Uh, I, I saw that many times. I don't know. Also, uh, I said in the BM game that I cannot see the color schemes. I have some like some kind of code, uh, like a bunch of codes that make the game uh, load way way faster so i cannot see the color schemes actually okay make sure you do not get all in here yeah M must uh, you must uh, scout the middle with a um, third scarab maybe i will try to do something like this Maybe not finish it. What are you I am not saying obviously what Aaron Beast is doing. So yeah. I switched to his base for the viewers to see. But I will not comment. Maybe a bit later. Hi Azula. Oh, hello Azula. Now I feel like he's going to turret rush me from the left side. He does this. He did that to me. It's very common for Imperial Guard to try this. It's probably the most popular thing they can try against Necrons here. Yeah. But uh, you must uh, know the timing. Usually they try to do this somewhere at uh, the second, third minute. Yeah, left side combo squad. Nice turret, by the way. And you're in a bad position on the map, by the way. It's it's so much worse compared to the one on the upper side. Why is that? 
because He's of the strategic go. because of the strategic point locations with that turret on the upper side you can defend three three points almost i mean it's it's uh, it can be positioned more conveniently you can also uh, reach three points almost with this one but um, the range won't be as good these two points here are closer to, to each other and also the river point a bit closer so if you place a turret here it can be better compared to this position nice scout here from Aaron Beast. he took the river point LP2 will reach it I mean a turret will reach it but uh, it will take ages to destroy Yep. I need to act to actually no, push no. him back. No, it's probably not worth it, I think. Oh, yeah. You simply Maybe don't have enough. Squads. I mean, I could time it with the Necron Lord, but now that he has two squads there, it's hard. Yeah, you could try to take this LP down, however. Yeah. Not sure if you can decap it, but... Thanks to the help from the turret, you probably can take it down. Tech Priest is probably the most annoying for Necron in this matchup. Not sure yeah. why. They almost get no damage from uh, Necron Warriors. Oh no. It's, yes. it's already looking very bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sometimes it's, it's not worth. It felt like it might work, but Necron loses so much when while trying to do this. That tech priest, oh man, so cancer, I have to say it. MVP already. And my Necron warrior is gonna... not gonna die, I think. Good. Oh boy. All these Necron warriors, all these dead bodies for just 100 requisition and a bit uh, of income down for uh, Aaron Beast. Actually 50 if you look at it, because it gives 50 Oh yeah, 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 you're right. I mean the cost to build a new one. It looks over now. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's far from over. You should... Um, I think in this case Necron should simply ignore that point. Try to take something else. Or just sit in the base and go tier 2. Get a Wraith uh, with upgrade, a squad of Immortals, and then try to attack. He's got full map control though. Yeah, it, it looks yeah. very good for him. That's why I said it would be uh, over. Yeah, you're probably right. His economy is insane. I couldn't really act fast with the scarabs on this river, unfortunately. I could have decapped it. Yeah, as Shagavt says, as Shagavt says, if you miss one decap, it could be GG. Yeah. Could happen here. It can be stressful and annoying. Necron life. And I do not have anything to decap this. It's actually very You should bring the scarabs from the from the left. Are they decapping still? Okay. You're sending two squads now. Yes. But yeah, this uh, Necron Warriors without upgrade is so much better than Necron Warriors with upgrade. You can get faster tier 2, faster upgraded wraiths, or simply invest into uh, the archive, or get flayed ones. All of that Actually, feels better than the upgrade on the warriors. Oh my god, so annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This common squad. <laughs> it's just throwing my stuff. Dude, I am watching the around. game and I feel annoyed <laughs> by how the Necron <laughs> could feel in this game. But it's good. But this tech priest. Holy. This tech priest doesn't die.
I might kill some stuff here, maybe. Or you could also lose the lords. Let's see. No, it's it's under my command. Well no done problem. here, but you know what's your problem? He is tier two. Yeah, I saw the execution. But then he lost his combo squad, which is yeah, yeah. Good. The damage here was good. He wasn't prepared. Good job. Yeah. You probably should stop the Overwatch on uh, the warriors. Yeah, that's true. They eat so many resources, these guys. Good, good, very good. Now he's going to just bunk it here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows what he's doing. I like what he's doing. Very good. There's going to be 10,000 guardsmen out of this now. Check your NL. Okay, he's not focused. Okay, yeah. he's focused. But how does infantry command sometimes switch focus? I mean, uh, it focuses more squads at once sometimes. How does that even uh, yeah. work? It, it is four weight. Oh, I'm floating so much. No man, Alex had uh, like 5k flows today <laughs> with his works. You're doing I perfect. Watched, I watched that game, it was like late late game though. Which is pretty okay, I think. I mean, not 5k, but floating is okay in this uh, stage of the game. I need to make the archive. He's going for fast vehicles. Probably. That pain on the Lord, though. Yeah. <coughs> Come on, upgrade. Come on. Good. How do you guys enjoy the game with a default camera view? <laughs> oh boy, this is so close to the ground. Oh no. Hi, Sova. You can build even 10 generators without economy damage. And you can okay, start yeah. doing the economy damage a bit later. But you need perfect timings for your tech, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm speaking with the chat, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Spoke with Sova because he wrote something in chat. What did he say? You can't build seven generators without economy damage. I do not particularly know what that means. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa. Easy. It's okay. Oh no! I missed the decap. Angry priests. Mm. But you wouldn't. Oh, you have a wraith in there, I see. Well, tech priest at least got killed. Guys, let me know if you enjoy this camera. I will keep using it. Maybe I get used to is it, it. Is it the default camera? Yeah, it's about the same height I use. That's the default one. People told me uh, if you don't use default camera you're cheating. If they think this is playable, maybe I will stick to this. My brave died. And it's tier 3, GG. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he's tier 3. three. <laughs> GG. No map control. I think if I decap this uh, river point... You're right, yeah. That that uh, fight right there at the LP1, early game, lost to it. Very, yeah. very simple to realize. You invested so much in those warriors, 
Also the turret, he did not all in. Usually yeah. if he doesn't all in, you don't even finish this turret. You decap river point, so you have a uh, a lot of economy if you don't invest in warriors trying to destroy it, you don't have turret. You can mass more warriors, you can get map control. You can do a lot more. The game is up, by the way. But again, okay. as Shagaft said, you miss one decap, it could be GG. Very stressful stuff. Alex, are you going to play? By the way, why did you start playing Necrons lately? I tried to play uh, Dark Elder Orc and I lost a lot. And I started to play Necron, I, I started beating everyone. Oh, nice. So now my main is <laughs> Necron. Feels good. Rematch between Blast and Eren. Is this the third game, right? Yeah, it's the third. Yes. Titans fall. Dude, I start to enjoy this camera, by the way. I can't see everything, so... I patch you. You know, uh, back then, in the first... When the camera mod wasn't uh, around yet, the resolutions on uh, monitors was a lot uh, smaller. And on smaller resolution the default camera is higher. It only gets closer and closer to the ground when you have a, uh, or a higher resolution on your monitor. So when, you, when the full HD monitors appeared, the default camera from Dawn of War became... Uh, unusable, I mean un unplayable. So Relic uh, did the camera mod to make it playable. If you, so annoying. If you, if you use a lower resolution with a default camera, it's perfectly playable by the way. You can go for 640 resolution to 480 with a default camera you will have a uh, height something like this much better if you get a bigger monitor in 2k or 4k the view will be that close to the ground Okay, RB. This insane pressure from two sides, oh boy. Okay, the Lord is out, good. Okay, at least the general died. 
after uh, a thousand years being fought by Necron warriors. You are in a good position, by the way. Yeah, and this turret was literally useless in the right side. I can't even go T2 by now. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, when you do not feel pressured, you can easily uh, transition. You don't need to invest in uh, upgrade or reinforce even. Well, you can start reinforcing when you enter the fight, maybe. No, no, no. <clears throat> it's very bad to exchange HP with the Lord here. Very, very bad. He lost half HP for what? For nothing. Pretty much. I didn't expect the uh, Tech Priest to come back. He was actually going back to build, yeah, uh, build the point in the back. It's Tech Priest. It's uh, the guy who makes Imperial Guard win games. Yes. Repairs, LP1s, uh, shoot. A P2 time. Oh boy, that range damage. One of the reasons why I actually like Lightning Field on the Lord so much. So he can start punishing this uh, command squad with priests. Look, I'm gonna do something. I see, I see. Nice one, very, very well cast. Yeah. Maybe the yeah, entire common squad. Very nice. I like this move by myself. <laughs> oh, the general is alive as well. Now what you need to do is to start uh, pressuring him with wraiths, maybe even a squad of immortals on his uh, economy. You don't need to fight him, by the way. It's not necessary. Yeah. I think these two... Uh... You can start controlling the game right now, your tier 2. Yeah. And I have 90 economy. He's not even tier 2 yet, I can see it. Oh, he's now tier 2. I need to wait for these uh, mine. No, you don't need. You don't even need to fight here. By the way, it's a mistake. I think. If you see, uh, he's defending a point with minefields, uh, turrets, guardsmen. You can simply ignore it and go for the other point. The thing is, however, yeah, he might have uh, stuff on the other point as well. So you never know. Did you lose yeah. your Necron Lord or what? No, he's very low oh. HP. Poor Lord. The unkillable uh, Lord, I heard. I'm gonna get the global actually. By the way, you have an open base. It's so risky. Uh, yeah. I have uh, some backup here. Okay, I'm gonna actually try to gear up now. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> look at the HP, they're already uh, gone. Yeah, but your lord is also gone. Oh, he's dead, okay. Priest, priest, priest. Right. 60% priest. production speed. But you only have like what one wraith? No, you don't have a single wraith. Yeah. Okay. Feels bad, man, to lose the Lord. It's okay, I'm remaking it. Yeah, but it's a lot of time uh, lost for you. The Wraiths, by the way, at this very moment, could be so useful because Guardsmen don't have Priests attached to the squads. 
So you yeah, could I abuse them so easily with raves. Yeah, now I guess you have to play defensive. I think I can't defend. Okay, he's gonna go full in or something. I'm just gonna defend. He is playing a standard uh, game, not uh, in a hurry. And he's doing very well. Nice play. But with this economy you have good chances, you just need to, I don't know, control units and make some good engagements. By the way, your lord is waiting, wasting so much time in there. You can't do anything if the tech priests repair. You cannot do any damage. And if you try to kill a tech priest, it will take you years probably. He will go in and out. DLPs. He's got a double upgrade now for uh, Guardsmen, a ton of DPS. By the way, turrets could help as well against uh, this amount of Guardsmen. But you will probably need destroyers. I don't even know. I think I need to damage his economy somehow. Yes, I cannot yes, really do yes. it. That's because you have only 30% speed and your production is very low on speed. You get stuff out so slowly, only two points. Three now. Yeah, he took control of the game really well. Alex, Alex is asking if you went to play... Um, versus his Space Marines, Chaos or Sisters of Battle, in case you're sick of Imperial Guard. I can do that. As, as IG, he says. No, you can play anything and uh, you can play versus his Space Marines, Chaos or Sisters, in case you don't want to play versus IG. Nice LP3. Nice LP3, but it feels like Guardsmen don't get damaged. I cannot deal economy damage. Yeah, you need uh, a lot more flayed ones and wraiths if you want to. And, Im and uh, immortals faster. As you wish. In this game, I think you could have done some damage if um, you got immortals as soon as you hit tier 2. You you hit tier two very long time ago, from what I recall. Yeah. It was quite I fast. Think you... you needed one wraith and a squad of immortals and the Necron Lord artifacts. You can do a very good push with that combination. Into turrets, minefields, LP2s. It's tier the... three already. Yeah, but the problem was his guardsmen with plasma. That was the problem. He knows exactly what to do against uh, this, what happened in this game. Your tier, th tier 3 probably is a mistake, you need as much units as possible, as many. Even if you want to go tier 4, you can't because of the relic. He will not let you take it. So when you have two monoliths, tier 2.5, usually you go all in into his economy. At least that's what I do, and sometimes it works for me, but not all the time. He 
he defended he himself really way. well. I think three tomb spiders with the ranged weapon could be better, but they are a lot slower to produce. Well, maybe pariahs will help a bit, I don't know. Stun, of course. Oh my god, it takes 1000 hours, and on top of it, he can stun it two times. Uh, it feels impossible. Yeah, Alex, that's what I'm saying. The Blast's problem, however, was his production speed. Even now it's quite low, so Tomb Spider get a lot more time to produce. They can then get stunned one by one. Double stun from Psychers. This feels hopeless, I don't know even. Kind of my mistake as well. I floated a lot, I think. I couldn't really do anything, I was too passive. Or it was just imbite, I don't know. No economy damage. You did not take down a single point from his side. Yeah, I couldn't. He's got plus 182 to 80. <laughs> I needed to take down his right point, this, uh, my outer point actually. Probably, I, I am not sure, but he had a lot of guardsmen in there. He had turret, he had LP1, or LP2 even, tech priests. But I don't know, I even, don't know. Even, even on three points, I felt like the speed was zero points. I don't know, I couldn't really get the race fast. Yeah, it's like... slow. In that case, you could try to get a critical location, it provides 30% um, sp speed boost. Yeah. It's good, but IG won't take you with it. You, you can host versus Alex, maybe. Okay. Let's play something else actually than Necron. Yeah, play anything. I don't mind. Let me message Alex in Steam. He probably doesn't know you hosted. Welcome back, Shagaft.
Oh no, no Necron on Meeting of Minds, please. Yeah, I was gonna change the map. <laughs> nice comment. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure Necron is better versus those races. Maybe Sister is okay. <laughs> but then again, depends a lot on the map. I like to play against Chaos. As Necron? Yeah. Depends on the map, all these matchups. Mm. I'm trying, trying to think of a matchup. But I, nothing comes to my mind. Something interesting to watch. Maybe you play Chaos and he Imperial Guards. Do you think I, it's okay? No, I don't want to play this matchup. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's just IG mo mobility. It's just too much for Chaos to handle. And I do not really play Nate Cult. Oh, I think it's boring oh, and I cannot I really manage it. By the way, your game setting is quick start. Okay, I was tasting something probably, yeah. Random versus random, maybe. <coughs> and oh, yeah. hope for the best matchup. Okay, let him... Okay, he took random, nice. Eldar Oak. <coughs> Have to clean my throat... a lot. Oh boy. Why? Why? Why not? Oh, I, I see. Alex said Orcs is his worst. Alright. Yeah. Is he better as Necrons? Never saw his, um, seen his Necrons. Yeah, I think so. I've seen him play uh, Necron. Okay. Hi, uh, dear Kies. I played two games today in the stream. Okay. Alex Elder versus Blast Sisters. No idea what Sisters has to do to win. Only Seraphim spam. Otherwise, I guess rip. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to spoil this, oh my god. Alright. It's okay. <laughs> As, let's it's suppose it. Blast did, didn't hear it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter anyway, it's not going to change my Yeah, brain. yeah, you will have found out uh, with your Seraphims anyway. Couldn't help myself. Good work. Hi Cosmos, I do not play battle sector, never tried it, I guess it's a Warhammer 40k game.
Incoming enemy fire. Okay, you found his rangers and uh, guardians. Oh boy. He actually know guardian grenades are effective versus uh, seraphims. Very nice. If you guys uh, want to be effective versus Seraphims, I guess you need to go for squads of Guardians with grenades. Oh, I see. No, Cosmos, I did not play it. I usually tend to avoid uh, turn-based games. They are too slow. I think I get uh, bored too quick if I play them. And they are also difficult to learn. A lot of stuff to read. I think I prefer RTS a bit more than turn-by-turn uh, -turn strategies. I would play also a to Total War style uh, game if it was in uh, Warhammer 40k, for sure. Maybe I'll even play uh, Fantasy Warhammer at some point. I don't know yet, I'm total noob in those games. Blast fully focused on the game. Alex trying to go into uh, his base for an all in. I guess that's the right thing you do against sisters. Seraphims can't really win this fight here. All they can do is counter harass. Thankfully, they've got nice damage to buildings. It's okay. Wow. Such a weird split of the ranger squad. Never seen this before. Two rangers one kilometer away from the uh, remaining units in the squad. How could this happen? I don't know guys, if sisters can't win with Seraphims, how else can it be done? I have no clue. Nice fast for grenade here, yeah, very good versus guardians. A squad of guardians almost dead, well done, goes down. How do you deal with the two Dark Creepers, however, and Rangers? This is so insane. How do you kill this? Alex knew very well what to do. Good game knowledge. 
Okay, but his economy is not so good. Got damaged nicely. Blast still uh, trying. Very, very nice. No need to give up. Maybe he should bring uh, the servitors in here at the web gate, but it's risky. Too much elder around. Too much Xenos come to take this down. Will Alex notice though? Too bad this servitor uh, has uh, the ability which reveals him a lightning ability when he casts this damage thing. Enemy can notice it uh, a lot uh, more easily. What a mess in here! So many, so many dead sisters and elder around this relic. What a fight! The battle of a lifetime. No way. It's not micro. Eh? No way. Someone in Observer said you won, but I am not sure honestly. It's such a mess. He lost a Dark Reaper spot. I do not know his economy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Though. He said GG. Okay. Really? His economy is, his economy is probably like um, 74. No, it's, six, it's, it's 68 to 10. Oh, okay. He was on uh, when... three points only. You took down his relic and the point on the left. Oh, Very yeah, well actually... done, man. Nice. Yeah. Well played. He lost a Dark Reaper squad. Uh, he didn't uh, realize. Yeah, I think it's like what Sova said. He invested too much in uh, the Guardians. He made a ton I of Guardians. Know. I think it's better to make Guardians than uh, Dark Reapers against SOB. Because... Um, yeah, but you like... kill one squad with one faster grenade. Maybe early game it's Almost. worth. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel good now for the Sisters of Battle players. They saw a victory for Sisters. People that was that one guy? You go, you go ahead. What? You go ahead, speaking. Don't know what you mean, but okay. Um, I cut it you off, so I said... I you forgot, go, I ahead. forgot what I wanted to say, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I left off. Oh, okay. I'm gonna abort the game now. Because he, he got a Necron. I guess he will quit. Okay, nobody disconnected, we need to wait. I disconnected. Really? Yeah. But how does this even happen in 1v1? Uh, Fatal scar it's... error. Oh my, what's this? Oh, okay. That's interesting. What I do is I open the console and uh, just press tab. It says um, abort game. I click on it and then the game freezes when it starts. I don't know if you will play this one as well. 
but I will not leave. I don't know what's the matchup, so I don't know what you mean. It's Stark held our Tau, he got Tau. Exotic. Tau versus Dark Eld, a meeting of minds. Well, it's a very good map for Tau, but Dark Eld being your main, I guess you can handle it. Best Tau map. And uh, Alex might be quite experienced as Tau, he plays this faction often. Standard river jet bike build here from Dark Elder. Is it really good versus Tau? Yeah, I think Tau uh, almost has no chances. Whoa, really? How do you deal yeah. with the infiltrated stealth suits um, if uh, Tau spams them? You mass up the jet bikes and use the uh, piercing vision at the right point, right, right time. I see. So that means you must. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's He's gonna get the. Oh, TC that... as well, okay. Th that's interesting. Good job here. Vespids took down the generator. Decap from Blast, maybe even two decaps. Someone said Alex already lost. What? Why? Mandrakes are gonna die, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. It's Worst. okay, though. Someone is trying to explain to me why Alex already lost. Good harass. Felt like the harass was good uh, from both sides. Yeah, this is how this matchup works. They both uh, trade their time and resources into um, basically harassing each other. I have no clue how to play it from any side. It's very hard for Tao. That's all I got to say. I know river jet bikes can cancel that path to enlightenment, but they can also do that on uh, Eldar, but it does not make Dark Elder's life easier, I guess, if Eldar is experienced. The thing is that Tau doesn't have a uh, turret. Yeah, they, they don't have also that mobility to escape. Yeah. I'm just gonna tie them up and they will, uh, they will not be able to do anything. Oh. The snare trap actually killed my Hellions. Okay, I might lose. <laughs> and he's decapping my point. Unfortunate. 
Yeah, I don't think it's actually too easy for Dark Elda. I think as soon as Tao manages to hit tier 2 with good economy, probably Dark Elder has no chance. I don't know. I don't see how yeah. Dark Elder can win. They if Tao gets Barracuda have... and uh, all of that. They have to actually get to this... Uh... Like, they, they have to get to tier 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which, is, which is the hard part. Well, I'm not going to probably able to deny his tier 2 because I lost my Hellions. Yeah, it's so game specific. You never know. You can say for sure that uh, the, the matchup is set in stone. It's always uh, specific to the game. And yeah, this map is very good for Tau, so you never underestimate them here. They are so powerful on this map. Second squad of Mandrake's gun. And maybe even the third soon. It feels like your economy is really bad though. You don't really care about yeah. taking your uh, heavy cover point and the relic. Yeah, because. If you like, do not pressure Tau right now, I guess it's over, right? Yeah, that's uh, I why. get I get it, I get it. He's trying to kill my uh, mandrakes, I see. Yeah, feels like Alex really know what he has to do. Good job here. One, one fire warrior squad. Oh, they will survive. That uh, Hellion squad loss was big. And also two yeah. squads of mandrakes. Well... The first squad was a big deal, the second one not so much. Yeah, that's over. Yeah, 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 it feels like it's over. Tau is uh, tough here. It was about my mistakes. Yeah, I guess you have to play a flawless game. Yeah, which I could do before, but no, not now, apparently. <laughs> Always like that when you don't play for some time. People say Dark Elder, and you also say that Dark Elder is actually like a uh, easier race to play. It's like right click. It's actually, I think it's very hard because you have to macro all the time. You have to play a flawless game. You have to be uh, in the place that you need to be in the exact time. Otherwise, you might lose the uh, opportunity to win the game. Yeah, it applies to all the factions, in fact. I mean, uh, maybe it's simpler compared to some other races, because there are like two builds, either river jet bikes or... Uh, but yeah, it's not easy to execute. Like, let's say Orc. Orc can make mistake, but can recover because uh, their units actually... Um, what yeah, do you say? They, I, I guess I agree. They can hold on more. The 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 units are more useful in tier two, but then bikes, well, Tau renders bikes useless in tier two. Very much as Necrons. Maybe on a different map, though. Yeah, this map can be a bit too much. Can you try Fata Morga, maybe? Or Blood... No, Blood River already was played. Yeah. I don't know what other maps out there. Tranquility is the end. Could be nice. It... Hmm. As Dark Elder, uh, y you need perfect timing, there is no uh, doubt about that. And mistakes aren't really allowed 
Feels like the losing those mandrakes at home was so bad because you couldn't get your two points later. Yeah. And it was on very low economy. Shagav says you've lost all of your Dark Elder skills. Yes, that is unfortunately true. Yeah, you played Chaos for a very long time after Dark Elder, I remember. And then you were yeah. also inactive in the game for I'm not sure how long. Obviously, you're not as good as before. By the way, your build with ranged uh, air cannon, which is always so good when you could play it, the, but I did not see you lately doing that. But the last time I tried it, it was against, I think, Death Gun. He beat at me uh, so hard that I did not know how to counter it other than making bikes, basically. Oh, you mean versus so Tau? Not... Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you mean against Necrons? Uh, what, no, what I mean in general, in most matchups, because uh, oh. guys like Seth do one build in all games, and it works yes. somehow. Come on, faster. Oh, I couldn't afford uh, the next one, Lord. By the way, three Necron Warrior squads in this matchup is also good, before the Lord, I mean. I mean, yeah. you can live without the Lord, even, uh, I guess, the entire game, if you tech up faster. Sometimes support from... Uh, Flayed ones and wraiths is sufficient. Need to sell P2. That's very bad. And here we go, at the 4th minute he starts building it, because he sees his all-in worked really well. At this point the only win for Necron to really do something is if he somehow manages to build 2 turrets faster than Imperial Guard. Otherwise I don't see how this is possible to beat. Tech Priest will refuse to die, or maybe he will now. Let's check this. Oh, whoa, whoa, he somehow got killed. I wonder how he died so fast. My OP2 shot was uh, very successful, it broke his morale. No, I mean the tech priest. Yeah, I mean, he I was in the range morale. of the OP2, I didn't notice. Nice. No, no, I mean, I bro broke the morale of the Gasma so he couldn't fight back to actually stop me. I see, yeah, you're right. And he's 
Wow, he's already. losing so much in here. Oh boy. Yeah. He, he actually he's gave excited. up. He's, for some reason, he gave up. He's excited. <laughs> oh what? Actually, need to make this Necron Lord. So. No, I think you should. I think you should just go tier two, as soon as you can, and make raids and immortals. GG. Yeah, might. I don't know. By the way, he floated I I... so much. Whoa. He? Yeah, he's got full map control. Six minutes until taking yeah. He controls all of his points and one of yours. His economy is good. Could have been better, but it's good that he lost a lot in that in your base. Yeah. And you are very far behind, by the way. In tech or economy? I don't know, I think my tech and economy both are good. And I'm going to take this down. Yeah, if you take down the LP2, you probably are fine. This LP2 means a lot to him. Don't even know why he upgraded it. Should have upgraded a point at home instead. That tech priest again will survive. He was trying to kill my scarabs with the actually. Nice one. Now you, now you should focus on uh, economy harass, and I guess it's GG. Yeah. Please Ign capture. You probably should ignore his uh, infantry as much as you can and just take down his economy. Yes. Is it tier two? Yes. Okay. No, I think it's a mistake you go in with the warriors, but we'll see. Mm, yeah, okay. No, please do not die. Wow, nice save. If this teleport was a mistake, by the way, you should have gone to the left through the river. Towards the left point. I should would have melted probably, I think. Yeah, I think he does not have yet those damage upgrades, so the damage is not so high, but the plasma hurts indeed. If such is the Emperor's will, my devotion victory is assured. Is assured. Three minutes until taken whole victory. By the way, you must be very careful now because your base is open and you don't have teleport. Yeah. If he goes into your generators now, it's I guess rip. You need the Lord yeah, closer manage. maybe. By the way, why do not why don't you make more raids when you when you hit tier two? They help a lot versus guardsmen. When you have like four or five raids, they help a lot both in fights and also with economy harass. Big core might be a mistake, but it could be fine if you make a destroy destroyer or tomb spider. Later. Nice, nice hold here. They lose morale again. Out, 
all this damage and guess what, his economy is still better. And he's even floating on a ton of resources somehow. Have you ever tried the lightning field on the Lord? Uh, yeah, but I think it's just better to make a solo pulse. It depends on your playstyle, actually. Yeah. If you play ranged uh, units, yes, it's better with solo pulse. The thing is, if you make solar pulse against close combat moss, it's... Uh, so easy to ignore it for your yeah. opponent. Also, if you play close combat mass, played one mass, and uh, wraiths, a uh, lightning field is a lot better than solar, even if enemy mass is uh, range. Oh, cap, no. Your economy is very bad, by the way. I Ele can tell, yeah. Eleventh minute. It, it, it's, it's fine for tier 1, early tier 2. Is this damage? And he still has some damage. I mean, uh, the common squad it still still de deals damage. Yeah, because the priest was there. He should have been dead like two minutes ago. <laughs> nice, nice one here on the mechanized. Oh boy, but you won't be able to take it down. Yeah, it's just to scare him off while I do damage his economy. Yeah, yeah, keep it up. Maybe you should uh, get your lord in the fights and uh, so and keep the economy harassment going with the wraiths and flayed ones uh, only. The lord sometimes is really useful in the fights because of I his. I think my economy, my economy is not good enough. I think. Yeah, but you also have done damage to his economy, so you have to also take that into account. Whoa, 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 GG. He gives up actually. Yeah, his uh, mechanizer was gonna go down. Yeah, and he went tier 3 and he had like very low economy, about 68. And you had plus 90 now, tier 2.5. If you keep up with this pressure for one more minute, he'd lose all of his buildings on the point. Mechanized, yeah. listening post, infantry command. It looked good for you, but he probably gave up too early, I don't know. I don't know, it's good that he uh, gave up early, because it's really frustrating to play against T3 IG. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, Richard, seems so, we're over six hours into this stream now. That's uh, thanks to Blast. Because when I'm co-casting with someone, it feels a lot easier. The dialogue is more natural. So it doesn't really feel like work. It's always more difficult when you cast alone.
on one of the recent streams, in fact, I wanted to end the stream at the third hour mark. And then I enter voice chat with uh, Shagaft and I somehow managed to get that stream past the five hours mark, something like that. It really helps a lot uh, with a voice chat when you have someone to talk with about the game. I do not know which map should I go. Ah, uh, I don't, I have no clue. Uh, Frazier's demise, maybe. That but he will not this. play it. Yeah. Fata Morg actually is okay. This is probably my last game. I want to observe or play something else after this. Okay. Thank you, machine spirit, for our safe arrival. I think I can also end the stream after this. It uh, will be a good uh, stopping point. Necrons versus Imperial Guard again. What's this, the fourth or the fifth game between you and your Eren? I think fifth. It is 2 2 now. Wow, wow, wow. Best of five. Let's see who will win this. Fun best of five. No, I guess this decap is not gonna happen. It's too much damage here. Yeah, I'm no. just trying to bait, bait him out. No idea why guardsmen deal so much damage to scarabs. It feels so high. Sometimes. Thanks for the games, Alex. Good night. This 
Chris is low HP, I can see. It would be really good if you can take this point down. I probably will, but I do not want to speak uh, before, <laughs> because we saw the uh, consequences of that in Blood River. Yeah, that was... I don't even know how to describe it. By the way, you shouldn't uh, tanks that all that damage with your warriors. You, you could have moved a bit and should and hit the point from the left. With the Lord, you should tie up the squad which has the commissar. By the way, nice, it worked. Thank you, Richard. Good job with the map control, it looks uh, much better than the game on Blood River. Yeah. Or the one on Titan's Fall even. I think it's uh, so much better when I go and try to capture the critical locations first, it gives me so much uh, speed. Yeah, and also vision. The only fact that you have this vision, even, even if it's a corner, it's a bit uh, of a relief somehow. If you can get the center even better. 60% speed, very nice. If that's LP2, I'm not going to engage it. No, no, okay. no, it's a suicidal move. Just go back, I guess. Yeah. I might actually try to... Um, I will no, try you, something different now. You will lose uh, too many uh, resources, I think. It's okay. That squad Just of for warriors... The, the squad of wari warriors which he focuses was very low HP, by the way, and you lost, what, five uh, members now? Uh, from the LP2? Six Necron warriors dead, seven... Eight. The LPT killed eight Necron warriors. Nine. That cannot be. <laughs> yeah, because all, you're always reinforcing it. But very good if you actually manage, manage to get down this two points, it's gonna be heaven. Yeah. Yeah, you invested a lot in this attack. But he's also losing. Make sure you don't lose too much HP on that Lord. You need yeah. him on yellow at least. Very unfortunate, the Forbidden Archive is useless now. I thought I would make use of it. Yeah, I don't know why you built it. Did you use solar pulse or what? Uh, I wanted to use the solar pulse, but I didn't need it. Well, the phase will annoy him a bit, at least. I think you should go back from with the Lord. Yeah, probably. Yeah, as soon as you won time with the phase, usually you go back. Nothing to do there. Hi, uh, Joachim, you're a bit late to the party. We're almost finished with the stream after this game. Oh, you can't get Phylactery yet because you're tier 1. Yeah, your tier 1, his tier 2.5 is gonna be a big challenge. I will try. And his economy on 3 points, still very good. Lord slowly melting down. Whoa. This point down. whoa, 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 that was nice. You actually managed to take down that LP2. 
Unbelievable. His economy is like, what, 80? 60? 68 or something? Yeah, in that range. Okay, nice. But it's not oh, bad, no. because he's tier 2.5 and his units are cost effective, he's not investing almost in infantry. Yeah. And you have to reinforce all the time. Yeah, I think the Necron Warriors are actually dead. Not yet. Thankfully he, he doesn't have um, the weapons yet. So he's yeah. not doing as much damage as he could. He rushed tier 2. Oh no, my... They bugged uh, the Flady one so I couldn't teleport back. Those priests though. Insane damage even on the move. I think I will just get some uh, race, one immortal squad, and it's. Yeah, you need immortals. You, I think you you need two immortal squads and wraiths, and try to keep flayed ones alive. And of course, phylactery, you've got it now. Yeah. Keep this pressure going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Do you see what he's doing? Uh, yes, I do. I am not sure I if my you can too. stop it. Yeah, yeah, he's scared. Now. Because this many priests can take down. Uh, Generators really, really quick. He will try to um, distract you with them now. Aaron doing quite well so far, despite all this Necron harass. Keeps it up. He does not need uh, my help, thankfully, unlike Blast. I'm trying to share some tips with Blast. I'm not telling him what Aaron Beast is doing, however, so I guess it's fair. Oh my god, it's so fast. Yeah, they run so fast, it's like fleet of foot or what? About that same speed. They, their capacity to destroy buildings is fast. I don't even know what to do now. Defend with the uh, Flayed Ones or what? Against this kind of thing you usually build a turret with upgrade and try to repair it. And yes, Flayed Ones too. And if you have 4 Wraiths, they can fight Priests in the back really well by the way. Oh boy. No, I'm, I'm <coughs> no. This okay, is I'm pain. I think man. I think is actually killing me here. Oh my god. This I cannot even do anything against this. I don't know, Look man. I I think we, if you're not having one turret or maybe two, you can't. Two minutes until taken hold or maybe two destroyers could help, but resources, not even yeah, the big like core is up. I lost the passing. No. I just want to use one of my uh, played ones in the offense, <laughs> but I cannot do it. And he's tier 3? Yeah, yeah, GG. I don't know. No mobility. And too late with the immortals, probably. You actually stayed in tier 1 for a very, very long time. That push yeah. on his outer points was good, but he also invested so much in it. Yeah. Um, I think the Forbidden Archive was the crucial mistake in tier 1. Yeah, you invested... Uh, I don't know. You were you were basically tier one, and he was tier two point five. You you get it. How behind you are in the game. But with no economy, though. I mean, uh, yeah. 
he he was on 74 to to 20 on three points or 30 even he, he was okay it felt like he's good and again his uh econ his investment in infantry is a lot more cost effective he has to spend a lot less resources he carries guardsmen on chimeras they don't die you reinforce them once and forget while you have to always reinforce your uh, warriors and flayed ones so i guess yeah. even if you have plus 80 and he's uh, on 60 but if you're behind you can't really do much and I one more thing i guess what i want to say before i end this it's a lot better to just uh, get faster tier 2 and then start damaging his economy than trying to do it in tier 1 with Necron Warriors. They are so slow and you could even fail if you try. I don't know. I think, like, I try to uh, harass his economy in tier 2 and he's like, he just has uh, all of his points, he can, he's mobile, he's bunkering in and out, I cannot destroy it. Yes, because you have to go in, like, with Lord three wraiths and a squad of flayed ones at one point and you do that when his infantry is somewhere away from that point and in this time your base is uh, guarded by two turrets well i guess you know my playstyle uh, versus imperial guard you probably know yeah and i think it's it's really good if you do it at the right time sometimes the timing is off and you will lose of course can't win them all but if you do it, if you execute it well, it uh, it's very good, I think. And you get also economy boom during this time. Yeah, I do not know how you actually manage it. Yeah, I cannot it's, get uh, it's not economy easy. boom. It's not easy. You have to practice it a lot for it to work. I've seen you uh, against IG in matches. Like, you're going to 2 with uh, 90 economy. You have enough bank to actually make the Forbian Archive and a second monolith at the same time. And also global upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> like, how? I cannot do it at all. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy. That's all I can say. You have to practice it a lot. And maybe after 500 games or one... 1000 games you will be really good with it yeah. okay boys i will finish it thank you blast for uh, voice chatting with me i guess that's it uh, from me for today on this stream thank you guys for uh, coming by thanks for watching it was fun and uh, i guess i'll see you next time maybe even tomorrow we'll see bye bye goodbye Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hello guys. <laughs> At least let them know that they can hear me. So it's not really a... Yeah.